Well, welcome to Trailer Boys. This is the show uh, where we watch trailers. My name is Nate Brown. I am the caretaker manager of Trailer Boys. To my right, which would be your left, is Sam Brown, the trailer boy himself. Sam, why don't you tell them what we do here? What kind of show this is? This is a trailer show. What's a trailer show? It's a show where we watch trailers, idiot. Uh, we watch trailers that, not ones that we pick, we watch trailers that you pick. Any trailer? No, the trailers are on a theme. This week's theme is... Uh, rom coms, or no, it's not, rom- it's chick flicks. The other chick rhyme, flicks. chick uh. flick rom com, it's chick flicks. Uh, we watch trailers, this week we're watching trailers made with chick flicks submitted by you, and we, we give them points. What are the points good for? They're good for nothing. You can take those points. And you can wait, look at me, I'm Justin Roiland. You can take those points and you can wipe your butt with them. That's what those points are good for. Right? Who's Isn't Justin like Roiland? Justin Roiland kind of thing? Yeah, uh, Rick, Rick and Morty. Ah, uh, uh, Rick, you know, you gotta... Uh, 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 Morty, you gotta... Morty, this is... We were, we we're doing trailers here, Morty. Uh, this is a dumb streaming show. And we, we got to just announce the show and tell everyone that if you, if we give, we each give it one, two or zero points and we have a bonus point, Morty, Marty, Morty. Oh, Rick. Oh. One man show. Is there t- I, 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 I didn't even know I could do a Rick and Morty, but no, I guess I can. Um, Guys, wasn't that the best? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me bring this something up. Uh, it was it was brought up in the Discord. We do have a Discord channel within the Widest Kids Discord. We also have our own Trailer Boy subreddit now. Um, I'm sorry. I know I'm not going to give the credit to the credit due, but I do remember seeing this. Um, there is a bit of a petition going around to see if we can change the Gooby point system instead of uh percentages to uh, uh a decimal point system and so it would be the gooby decimal system <laughs> because of the name yes <laughs> it would be 0.25 you know what i'm saying the, yeah, all right yeah uh the gooby decimal do we do we decimal? Gooby decimal system gooby decimal yeah. system Oh, oh, instead of, okay, 0.25 instead of percentages. Okay. Correct. Mary McButts hates it. All right. The Gooby Decimal System. All right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys get 0 to 25%, if the 25% of you guys vote on, on this thing, you get one, it gets zero points. 25% to 50% say yes, that gets one point. 50 to 75% say yes, it gets two points. 75% and 100% it gets three points. And if we really like a skit, if we really like a trailer, we can give it, give it a little fist bump and the fist, we do the fist bump and then the, uh, trailer, uh, we give it the fist bump and then the trailer gets an extra point from us. Okay. Uh, that's the point system. Uh, and we watch trailers and we got these coming attractions and why don't we see what's going on in a hometown like yours. Ready? Uh, almost. It's kind of a long preview. Why should we should find another preview coming attractions? All right, play it. What do you got for us? Ooh. Taking me to see basketball or bare knuckle boxing. We do everything. <laughs> I'm Stanley Sugarman. I'm a scout for the 76ers. So <laughs> you're 22 years old. Because you can't be in the draft. Oh, you're only 22. Yes, I'm 22 years old. Who's this? It's my son. How old is he? He's 10 years old. Okay. Okay. This Philly thing. There's room to grow there. I want to coach someday. 
Do you love being away from home all the time? Best chance to win in here is with you out there. What the hell am I still chasing this for? So you're just gonna give up on your journey? Been in this league for 30 years and it's like, I'm nothing. Look at us, you come to Philly, your whole world's gonna change overnight. I gotta work. My mom and my daughter, they mean everything to me. Salary's $900,000. He will call in sick. It's, uh, you know what that guy's name is? In all the years I've been Juancho Hernan Gomez. He's wrong. Is that a real guy? Get him in NBA shape. Yeah. What do you say? He was on the Celtics then. last season. Just get back or up maybe here. two seasons ago. You know, I haven't been home on my daughter's birthday for nine First name Wancho, last oh, name man. Hernan Gomez. The Sixers don't know you stashed him. Being the guy who finds the guy matters in this business. No thanks for you for this. I just want to make sure I do what's right for the kid. He's got a daughter to support. You got a daughter to support. Where are you from? Spain. Sounds wet. Sounds wet. Welcome to America. That wasn't him. That wasn't even close to him. I fly home tomorrow. Is that what you want to do? Hey, you love this game. I love this game. I live this game. Let's get to work. The draft is in six weeks. If we're going to do this, we got to do it ourselves. No doubt about it. That kid's got it. Kenny the Jet. Do you need a hand up? You don't need nobody's help. We need a spark. This is Seth all Curry. for you, pal. It's for us. Okay, it's for us. Is this based on a true story, or is this just like a thing? I think it's just a thing. It's, uh, no, there's a true story about Adam Sandler discovering basketball players, Nate. Oh, that makes sense. That's what he does in his spare time. Uh, I, I got one. I got one more. I got one more of these. I'm gonna do this all night. I got one more of these trailers for you. Uh, we got one more new trailer tonight, and and I'm gonna do different characters, and it's gonna be annoying. Do we have to? Are these uh, characters that you've come up with, or are they like established they, characters that we have to figure out who you're doing? No, no, they're they're characters that I am in the process of coming up with as the okay. show goes along. Ooh, part of the process we get to see. Yeah, yeah, you get to see how the sausage is made. PBS does characters, right? Or is that TNT? Characters wanted. Sophie, cannot hear yet. Fathers play a big role in their daughter's life. Special bond that only they share. Andrew Garcia? And even when she's all grown up, she's still Daddy's little girl. Andy Garcia. Do you guys hear us over the trailers or no? I We're have trying to, to check say. the audio levels engaged. here. Wow. <laughs> oh, and I propose. Wow. You propose? You propose? It's the guy yes. in the wheel. Uh -huh. He didn't propose to you. It falls off. Can you do that? Does anyone do that? You, you make a car with the wheel that doesn't fall, fly out the window. I'm here. No. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Nope. To play the perfect family until Sophie uh, gets married. Sorry, sorry to spoil your happiness. Yeah, it's Gloria Estefan. But we're getting a divorce. Muscle tough. Mommy, Papi, this is Alan Castillo. We don't want some big fancy wedding, and we want to pay for it. Two lawyers are out of college, working for a nonprofit, they're gonna pay for the wedding. Billy! Puppy. I'm the father of the bride, and I would be paying for the wedding, and I'm gonna be walking my daughter down the aisle. The wedding planner see you in 20 minutes. Wedding planner? Left Amelia! So what are we thinking about theme? Theme? We don't want a Catholic wedding. What are you talking about? You can officiate then. My guide, Monica, from the Zen Center in New York. So a yoga class instead of a wedding. I go Whoa, what? This is my father for the wedding. Oh my God, how rich is this guy? Gonna have some champagne and come aboard! What is he, a Bond villain? We should go over the ground rules. Can we hold hands? We can. Can we dance? If necessary. How about a kiss? Absolutely not. Daddy, what is the budget that we're working with? How about that? Yes. I really like him. He's nothing like us. Maybe that's the point. You don't watch sports? No. You play sports? I like hiking. 
Things have been coming at me pretty fast. It's time to so embrace sport. the future. I got your back. Showtime, baby. Can we dance? Help me. Ready? Yes, and you? No. What a weird decision. What decision is that? What the movie to remake? To no, no. I mean, well, like the the Steve Martin one was a remake to begin with, but like the you're dog. like, uh, yeah, I think it was like a movie from like the forties. I want to say, uh, but it's like. All right, we got this movie. It, it, it's kind of a classic. Uh, uh, it's got this great comedic lead. Who are we going to get to play that comedic lead? Well, I mean, we could get, you know, like any of these these up and coming comedians who are probably have kids that are in their early, you know, like in their 20s and stuff. But what about this other guy? Who not only is he someone who's not a comedic actor, he is the same age as the last guy to play this part. <laughs> he has been in movies with that guy, and they're about the same. They're like, but this guy's playing the like the Latino Steve Martin, I guess. But like. And it's the same. Why, why not go like younger? Why not like Eugenio Derbez? You know, I don't even know who that is. Is that the guy's name? Eugenio Derbez. Yeah. What the fuck was that, Steve Martin? <laughs> uh, yeah, I liked Good Time. All right, Eugenio Derbez. That's his name. Um. Uh, <laughs> He's pretty Senior funny looking. Martin. No, but I mean, like, like, yeah, like, why are we replacing Steve Martin with another guy that there are rom coms that we can find in here that probably have them going after the same women? Like, 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 I'm sh sure there's like a rom com where. Uh, Andy Garcia's love interest is a certain woman, and because here's my thing is I'm wondering if like the demographic for this movie are people in the Andy Garcia age range, you know? Because like people are having kid, people are getting married later, having kids later, you know. So like, um, I, I know what you're saying, but I'm just I just mean too like then there's also the thing of like well you know why does you know why do we have to you know, like, why don't we be more inclusive? Why don't we, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, like, why don't we make a more like Latin based father of the bride? Well, who are we going to get to star in it? Well, it's this guy that's been around in movies for fucking ever. Like, yeah, don't, we don't need a big star for it. Who's the biggest star next to Andy Garcia in that movie? Gloria Estefan. Gloria Estefan. As a musician, Andy Garcia is the name on George this Lopez. Thing. George Lopez. He's the same age, though. George Lopez is no, the same age. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if you want, like, why Andy Garcia? Why not George Lopez? George Lopez would have been great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would get down with George Lopez, too. Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> Cheech. Yeah, Cheech could have been it. I feel Andy Garcia is a bigger name, though. George Lopez is, like, considered a TV comedian. Andy Garcia is, like, you know, that movie star. Yeah, but, like, I, TV's bigger than movies right now anyway. So, uh... Well, this is I, a just, I, movie. Yeah. Emilio, Emilio Estavez. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, well, chat overwhelmingly voted that they would rather see Hustler, Hustler Hustles than this one. I would yeah. go with this. I, I of the two, I'm going to go with Father of the Bride. I would watch Father of the Bride over Hustlers. While we were discussing casting Sam Brown for Borat Three, okay, my Wi-Fi not good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Borat <laughs> three. <laughs> Come here. Uh, who, who would it be? It would be like, hey, uh, 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 Joe Biden, want me to give you a blowjob? <laughs> You remember they 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 tried to give uh what's his name a blowjob and he he was all ready for it. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Um, uh, uh, Mayor McCheese, what's his name? Mayor McCheese. Uh, <laughs> Peter <laughs> Batman, Rudy Giuliani. R- Rudy Judy. Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> all all voices all the time. <laughs> we have to edit so much of this out. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> it's not. You're like Swedish chef. Because like I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> Do you guys hate this or love this? Where's Chad the poll? Loves this. Ted Cruz for father of the bride. That would have been great. <laughs> Ted Cruz. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what Borat three would be. It was me trying to blow Ted Cruz. <laughs> the uh, worse the impression, the more I like it, says Bitcom. <laughs> Mary McFutt says, this is the show now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Ted Cruz, Ivanka Trump is the bride, and uh, she's marrying that dude in the wheelchair. Uh, what the fuck's his butt? Madison Croft, Crawdad, Crawdad, Crawford. Yeah, Madison Crawdad. <laughs> Mason Crawley. <laughs> uh, Sam do Borat, but as Ricky. Uh, it's tough because, uh, no, I can do Borat as uh my wife or, or <laughs> Rick. Uh, yeah, it's like Morty. It's like. My wife. <laughs> I can't. I can't do the burp. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> this is your multiverse of menace. Oh, thank you, Abby Sally. Uh, bah, 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 bah. I'm losing it. I know. I was saying earlier. <laughs> all right let's watch some fucking trailers all right let's do the first one getting into the show finally you guys ready chick flicks chick flicka ever wonder what chickens do when you're not looking (laughs) <laughs> oh, I get it. I get it. Operation cover Fuck up. you. Fuck you, Don't motherfucker. I get it. A chick flick. Nice pun. All right, that was a nice. Joke. That was a joke. Oh, that wasn't a submission. <laughs> No, it was a submission, but it was it was, it a, was joke a submission. submission. Chad right, had uh, ten, ten people submitted it points. when I brought it up. <laughs> no. All right, two we're points. getting into the real, real. All right, we're getting into the real, real. I haven't, I've never seen this. What movie. was the? What was? We almost did something else as a thing. The Rangers won like, in overtime. Wow. Oh, I, I wow. hate Pittsburgh because it's in Pennsylvania. Philadelphia adjacent. All right. Ready? Yes. Truth or dare? Truth. Are you happy? Am I happy? That's a good question. I'm just realizing that I've spent my entire adult life trying to recapture the way I felt the summer of 1970. Hey, Kenny, where's the fire? Softball game, Kendall's Field. It's gonna be all boys. So what are we waiting for? That was the summer when everything started to change. <laughs> hey, Wormers! Come and get them, suckers! Hey! Not ugly! <laughs> no matter what I do, they just keep getting bigger. If we wanted to hear the facts, we went to our parents. I've been thinking about what you asked me. About sex? You say that very casually, it scares me. Have you ever been French kissed? <laughs> are you kidding? 
I don't want to get pregnant. <laughs> but if we wanted to know the truth, we went to our friends. It's like somebody going, boo, ah, that's what sex is. Whatever happened to the girl? That... Just about the only thing that didn't surprise us that summer was who our friends were. It's too bad your mother's Duh. dead. Somebody needs to teach you to act that's like Christine a That's Christine Ricci. What happened to this girl here? Gabby Hoffman? Yeah. We're here for each other. She's in that no what happens, winning time show on really HBO. Really she was in Transparent. We're here for each other always. Friends for life. She was just in that movie it's with uh, the um, Mike Mills movie oh. with um, uh, Walking Phoenix. Cinema presents Mike Mills from R.E.M. and Rosie O'Donnell as Roberta. You're a woman on the verge. No. Uh, what the guy's name? Thor Roberta. Thor Roberta. Thor Roberta. Thor Roberta. Thor Roberta. Thor Roberta. He's dead. Men from the four corners of the world. Gabby Hoffman and Demi Moore as Samantha. Don't be afraid to take the plunge. You might surprise yourself. He's back, and we brought him here. <laughs> Ashley Aston Moore and Rita Wilson as Chrissy. Let go of your inhibitions before you dry up like a prune. <laughs> In a film about who we were. If you mention this to anyone, I'll beat the hell out of you. Who we are. Give me your culture, I'll kill you! And the friends. Kind of looks like Rush Limbaugh. We have to thank for it. Rebooter, truth or dare? Truth. How big are your boobs now? Well, just how big are your boobs? 36D, and with every penny. I'm foolish. One for all. Now and then. Directed by Leslie Linka Glatter. Linka Glatter? That's a silly last name. I have yeah, reservations I about this category theme. What? I have reservations about this theme. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm I, like, are we going to be able to get these shitty ass movies that I love in this theme? That is a real chick movie, though. I will, if if I were to categorize that, it wasn't a romance. It was a coming of age movie, but that was a movie geared towards women's. Right? This girl interrupted a chick flick. I don't know. I've never seen it. The trailer made your ovaries hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go deep into the woods on this one. Yeah, we've already committed. We, we committed. We're doing it. We're going into it. We're doing it. Um, yeah. For that uh, movie, um, I do. I So for that movie, like pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know. I got like, I, I don't know how I felt. I don't know how my feelings were feeling. <laughs> Um, Did they, you're talking like it awakened something in you? No, no, no. Like I don't. It like it. <laughs> it didn't do anything you, for me. <laughs> like the opposite, where I'm like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it. You know, like, uh, um, I liked all those uh, the child actors because I remember them. It was Thor Birch, Gabby Hoffman, Christina Ricci, and then I don't know who that fourth girl was. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was uh, trying to come up with a joke. That's why I paused. <laughs> uh, two points. <laughs> What's your rationale for two points? Uh, that bird shit on that girl's head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know. All the rules are going out the window today. Okay. Up is down, down is up, you know. I got one point from chat. Uh, I... I, I want to give this like a baseline. So I'll start off with one, one point as well. Okay. That's, so that's a four point trailer. That's a four point trailer. <laughs> and that goes to boner honk farts. And the context is boner quintessential nineties chick flick about making fake boobs with pudding in water balloons. Okay. Four All points, right. boner honk farts. Sam, you're up. Do you realize we've got five days to talk your mom out of moving halfway around the world? I haven't kissed Raymond yet, so I'm not going anywhere. 
Incoming. Cecilia's back from camp. Did you order a sandwich? For two best friends who needed a miracle. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but we're still moving. How about we start packing your room? So how about I live here with Claire till I'm 18? <laughs> Something magical. Half the ocean washed up in there last night. Is about to happen. I know her. This one? Um, mer the mermaid? Her. The mermaid. Mermaid. She's married to a friend of mine. I use these. I have to find love. We don't have it where I'm from. The only way I can get out of my wedding is if I can prove to my dad that love oh, is only get three days. <laughs> I recognize her. With him. Raymond? Raymond. Raymond's way too popular. If you help a mermaid, you get a wish. Can we wish that you don't have to move? Yes! We begin where every girl starts with their first crush. Who's that Probably. girl? Uh... Oh. That was fantastic! Let's do it again. <laughs> Who are you? Aquamarine. That's kind of pretty for a crayon. Barnacle! <laughs> <laughs> There's something very fishy about that girl. Who's that girl? The spring. Hello! The bad girl looks like someone. Noticed. Look, baby. what happens to her legs? You're not like those girls around right here. She likes, likes her. her. And believe. Australia could be. And also, how amazing. could they not get out of that situation of the guy walking into the bathroom room? It's like, get out. <laughs> we asked them to do it, Haley, and we got it. Maybe we'll learn to stand on our own for oh, this, a change. The guy's coming into the bathroom while we're taking a bath. How do we get him out of here? You're my best friend. You're my best friend too. Aquamarine. That's uh, Emma Roberts, right? Yeah. Hello, Dad. Shellfire. Wait, her name was actually Aquamarine. I thought that was like a thing where she just like made up a name on the spot. Like, oh, her name is Aquamarine, and then her dad is like, yeah, the dad is calling her Aquamarine. <laughs> Yeah, Resident Evil, that's I had the same question. So the, the girl in the beginning has a crush on this guy. Then a mermaid comes and is like, I have to hook up with this guy that the other girl had a crush on, so she's as cool with that now. Right in the cloaca. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, right. Funny. Uh, okay. okay. Um, was the other girl... Uh, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like I recognize like half of these people, but like couldn't place it. Um, she looked kind of like Shaylee Whitley, but not really. So I'm thinking Shailene Woodley. Is that not her? Uh, mermaids have two. <laughs> uh, and so when she's on land, she has feet. Emma Roberts, I got. Who's the other girl that wasn't Emma Roberts? This, this girl here. Uh, all right, let's see. Jojo? Who the hell's Jojo? Haley Rogers? Everyone's saying Jojo. Jojo's a singer, right? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, Jojo's her name? Oh, Jojo's her name. That's what, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. From RV with Robin Williams. Okay. Jojo oh, is. interesting. And who is the girl in the okay, car that was the bad girl? Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, this girl is um Ariel. This girl's Kevin? in Severance. This girl's in Severance. She's like uh, Tibetan. Tibetan? Tibetan? Um, cool. Um, Wait, mm. I have to give that two points. This is great. I, I actually really like this trailer, too. Um, I think it's... Yeah, the one in the back was in Dollhouse. Yeah, same girl from Severance. If you haven't seen Severance yet, um, definitely check it out. It's great. She was in Altered Altered Carbon. I think she's naked in Altered Carbon. Is that true? She's in the 100. John Tucker must spy. 
I don't know who this one is, the driver girl, though. Hey, Frank Howley is raiding. You know what that means? It's, it's time for a Frank Howley raid song. It's a Frank Howley raid. What happens on a Sunday when you're trying to do your show? And do have a friend who also does a show. You get a Frank Howley raid. A Frank Howley raid. A Frank Howley raid. On a Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> JSBX fan says, bring Trailer Mom back to sing the Frank Howley raid song. She wants to come back. She's like, do you guys need me tonight? And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't think so tonight, mom. But, uh, <laughs> she, I was watching Frank show earlier. Frank's in his new studio in the OC and his mom was playing Fortnite and she saw him watching that. And she's like, Oh, I could probably play a video game. And I'm like, okay, mom wants to be on stream again. We'll do that. So, uh, Frank, Howley, she should just have her own channel. Off. She should. That'd be she wants to do a cooking show, so maybe if uh, Timmy has to take some time off, uh, she did some cool shit with Salmon tonight. So if if people are down to watch it, she'll do it. Anyway, um, what would you give Aquamarine the trailer, Sam? Two points. I'm gonna give it two points as well. Uh, and chat gave it sixty eight percent, so that's two points. So it's a six point trailer, Aquamarine. Who's getting it, Sam? Six points for Aquamarine go to Voodoo Cowboy. Yeah, Come Voodoo Cowboy. I am playing. <laughs> All right, you ready for this one? Yeah. Okay. You have your mom on for guns, but not chick flicks? Okay, we get it. All right. If we have her on, she's going to want to be on every show, okay? And then you know what happens there. Oh. Is anything wrong? No. You don't want to see me anymore? Oh, sick. back on his knees. Oh, Caroline, I miss you. I want you back. <laughs> Have they two? Have the two of them been in a lot of movies together? It's like in my head, I feel they do. He's kind of cute. Come on, hang out with us. That's as cute as I've ever been in my whole life. I'm sorry. What's up with the quote? It's weird, right? I wasn't finished. Don't call him. Starlight, start bright, first tarzan, and I wish I may, I wish I might, I wish I wish to see. That's Mars. You just wished on a planet. Why? <laughs> he doesn't make sense. I don't make sense. Together we make sense. They don't even get into like the story of the movie. Okay. Though, yeah, yeah. I only. That's so strange. Marissa Tomei is stupid gorgeous. I agree with you. But um, like, I thought that was a really cool trailer. It was weird because the quotes, you know, like the lot pull quote lines that came up on it was kind of interesting. Yeah. There is plot and it's huge. It's that like he has a baboon heart. Right? Yeah, that's like what's weird is that they talk around the whole plot of the movie, which is like, like they have these moments where he has like superhuman strength because he has a baboon heart. That's why he stops the, the, the muggers, is he has his baboon heart. And that's why he catches the puck, is because of his baboon heart. And then he's got the scar, but then they never say it. 
There is that part where he like throws his own shit though, which kind of like I don't think you can put that in the trailer, you know? When he like yeah. just shits into his hand and like aggressively throws it and then like fucking jerks yeah, he, off. He ripped that old man's balls off and that was yeah. and, like ate them. Like that was fucking gnarly. But that's, that's like the weird. best part of the movie. I wanted to see in the trailer. But it's not in the trailer at all. That's fucking weird. They don't even say anything about the baboon heart. And like the scar on his heart. Uh-uh. We have a friend that had, uh, actually, I just saw our friend recently that had uh, heart surgery um, again, and it doesn't look like this. It doesn't look like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a friend that had heart surgery as a kid, and uh, we used to tell everyone, like, he would go along with it when people would ask. He'd be like, they'd be like, where'd he get the scars? And he'd be like, oh, uh, Sam's brother Nate, like, sliced me with a knife. We used to <laughs> tell that. everyone that. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. Um, oh, he just had another heart uh, surgery. Did you not know this? I did. I feel bad I haven't called yeah, him. It's, he's, like, here to here. He's got another scar, like, straight up. But look how, look how gnarly the scar is. It's like diagonal with a curve and it's just like <laughs> was the surgeon a cat yeah. <laughs> they stitched him up like a pair of pants <laughs> they get a 60 percent uh, yes um i liked it because it was a weird trailer like it it was I, odd and it didn't give you the main thing so i'm gonna give it two points also i can give it two points too because you can't beat uh what is that tom's diner is that that song the song oh uh, it's just, I think it's Tom's Diner by Suzanne Vega. It's a fucking great song. Uh, the tone of the movie was cool. The like the weirdness of like I I enjoyed it so much and and I could not separate from like knowing what the plot of the movie was. Yeah, but I still just really really enjoyed it. Okay, ready? Woody Twitch gets those points. Sam Slitty Twitch. Slitty Twitch. Okay, Slitty ready. Twitch. Ready. Wait, hold on. Yes. Freestyle Digital Media. That's the production company you want to see on your thing. Ooh, it's a rated R trailer. Lindsay and Alexis have it all. There's just one problem. Men. I have to deal with one more self absorbed male. It. You must work out, girl. A little. Me? I go to the gym for three hours a day every day. Mm. You like that? They're boyfriends. <laughs> I, I thought she was you. The, sh the shirt says Lindsay. Oops. <laughs> They're bosses. <laughs> a toast to the star of my next film. You've got a lot of talent. And I've got to say, you have a great rack. Their dads. Hi, Vic Sexy. Uh, mm. Did your mom ever call you Vic Sexy? No. <laughs> you left mom this morning and already you're going out with this bimbo? It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Dad, what are you thinking? It's a miracle. <laughs> Who is this girl In from? The main girl. Good men Not her, are but hard to point. find. So, uh, do you come here often? This, this is the uh, men's. This seems like this now. was directed by a dude. These women. It is. What? The perfect guy. It's like an MTV movie. Taking matters. Yeah. I think you need CPR. I took first aid. I know proper mouth to mouth. Into their own okay. hands. Yeah. It's like it looks like it's like directed by Mick G. Think about it. There's no explosions. Men used to club women over the head and drag them back to their cave for sex. Now it's our turn. Oh, what what happened? Don't worry. You're in safe hands now. This spring. You and I are going on a series of missions. <laughs> Sophie Mock. I am ready. Cameron Richardson. It sounded like Barbara Blitz, didn't it? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, she, she was in Dawson's Creek, right? Imaginative approach to your new sport. Tom Arnold. Hey! Let's not tell your mom about the midget, okay? And Chris Oh my god! Isn't it fantastic? The battle of the sexes just got harder. Oh, no, you did. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, oh it's so good. Look now. There's this fine male specimen over there. Heartbreakers. <laughs> wow. 
That was garbage. I loved it. <laughs> All right, that was that was garbage. Right? What was the the uh, heartbreakers? Uh, one of my favorite bad movies, Sophie Monk and Cameron Richardson abduct men. They want a bone because they're sick of men or something. Where were those girls from? I think you're right. One of them was from from the Dawson Creek. Um, I don't I don't recognize the other one though. Not sure how you feel inside. Um, <laughs> did the narrator hit the other oh, boner? Hardbreakers. She wasn't in Dawson Creek. She looks familiar. All right. I wonder if this is like a Tom uh, Arnold production. She was, let's see. I think way back. Isn't it funny when they had Tia Carrera on there and then it's just the drums were from like Ballroom Blitz and then it was like a different like sound alike song? Vote this into oblivion. She was open water to adrift. Uh, what is the she inversion of Busy Phillips? I get that she looked very busy, busy Phillips like, but um, <laughs> Chaos Theory saying take back what I said about voting yes on every trailer. <laughs> Dorm Man Days. Dorm Days was the guy. He was from. He was in Dorm Days. That was an MTV movie. No, but she was also in Dorm Days. Cameron oh. Richardson. She was in Supercross, and she was in Alvin and the Chipmunks, and she was Open Water 2 Adrift, and Harper's Island. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what like I recognize her from. Then. 50 million shit movies. And this is one more. This got 69% no, meaning that it got 71.71 decimal. Yes. Or no, point. 21. Nope. So, am I saying that right? No. Point 31? Point 31, right? Math? Um, yeah, go Celtics. Uncle Christian. Math's hard. I think it's 31. Yeah, I'm going to mess up the decimals. Yeah, the percentages that I have a hard enough time with, the decimals are going to be even worse. Uh, we're, let's just keep it as, as the, as the uh, percentages, and we'll just call it the Gooby decimal system. How's that? Um, <laughs> Carl's Jr., that's her. Okay, so that gets one point um, from chat. Uh, I think I have to give it two points because it was super garbage and I loved it. Uh, I'll give it one point. So that's a four-point trailer, and that's going to... Wait a second. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Uh, that was to Schlitty Twitch. <laughs> was it really? Yeah. Oh, uh, Schlitty Twitch getting doubles. Sorry, gang. They weren't even close. To, Sorry, like, gang. All right. Um, yeah. All right, ready? This one had a really interesting context, so I have to go with it. <laughs> Oh. Problematic. You're gonna tell me where Ryan's hiding, huh? Huh? When I find that son of a bitch, I'm gonna blow his head off! Shh. I wanna write For the first time on a home video, does that mean direct to home video? ...would be the end of all his problems. Drive! Instead, it was only the beginning. You've got your son. <laughs> Get a voice ready. I want Vinny and all his punks wiped out clean. Stand back from the door. Then manifest yourself with your hands up. I don't know where this is going or how this is check for the killer. Yeah. Just imagine you, me, and 50 screaming chicks. It's the wrong guy. Pleasure to meet you. I'm gonna be pretty pissed you off if you don't eat and drink in my cab. <laughs> Your boy drove my little girl to kill herself. Daddy, no! He doesn't care how much he hurts me. Drive! The music oh, yeah. is fucking insane. Woo! 
$20,000. Thank you, Wilson. It's favorite too. movie Please. the last 25 years, huh? I love you with they all They left my that heart. quote up. So Listen, that asshole might shoot before asking questions. I didn't do anything wrong. It's not my fault. What are you running away from? Yourself, Ryan? A good heart <laughs> and bad luck. Love you, Ryan. Will get you nothing but trouble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ryan's babe. Wow. I I gotta read you the context. A right. young Canadian travels across the U.S. to get away from his suicidal girlfriend on the way he gets kidnapped. Girls confuse him for a rapist and try to cut off his dick. He wins $20,000 and gives it to a hooker, is drugged and raped by an old lady after, she be- after he becomes a stripper, and much, much more. All that to realize his ex who tried to kill herself because he left her is his real love. She is Ryan's babe. Oh, and all the time his ex-girlfriend's dad blames him for her suicide attempt and is out to kill him with a wonderfully terrible ADR. A wonderful movie of true love that is the ultimate chick flick. Uh, (laughs) Album says, I'm concerned about what men think women enjoy and what men think we actually like. (laughs) Ryan's babe. Uh, that was awful. <laughs> uh, that, I, like, I appreciate that we watched that. Well, let but me I also use the word babe in, in, in the poll. Babe is like a banned word. Well, cause of the, the pig movie. Yeah. 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 They, you know, they don't like people talking about that movie. Uh, but hey, babe, no. Uh, man. Um, uh, <laughs> there is a, there is something interesting about this movie about a guy whose girlfriend tried to kill himself, and then you watch the trailer, and like part of it makes you want to kill yourself. Like that's like immersive, you know. That's art. <laughs> uh. No, but you know what I fucking hated about that is like, all right, hey, here's this trailer. This fucking trailer comes along. It's like, hey, this movie's available for the first time in 15 years. Oh, you mean it's available? It's just a all right, like sure, you made a fucking movie. Like ah, uh, uh, great, cool. No one cares. And then all of a sudden, they're like. This movie's funny like The Room. You know how... Oh, so you made a piece of shit movie and you want to, like, cash in on it? Like, I don't know. I hated it. Like, that was just... I don't know. Maybe, like, that synopsis is really funny. And maybe it's fun to watch the movie. I hated the tone of the trailer. Of, like, how how it was so, like, hey, if it... And then also... So this movie came out in 2000, Right? Or, Mm -hmm. like, it initially came out in 2000. This is 15 years later. And I don't know if this is a joke, but at the end it says, available on video cassette, DVD, and theaters everywhere. Get you nothing but trouble. Mm Mm-hmm. Before that, I think doesn't it say that? At some point, I think it says that, right? Yeah. I do like this part when it's like a good heart and bad. What are you running away from? Yourself, Ryan. A good heart <laughs> and bad luck. Love you, Ryan. Will get you nothing but trouble. Mm-hmm. Am I making this up? Did it not say available? And maybe it's about to say it. Is that VHS, Blu-ray, and iTunes? 
Anyway, it's gotta uh, be before that. I swear it said it. I'm not going crazy, am I? Am I, yes. Ryan's baby? Come, yeah, c- coming soon to video cassette, DVD, and a theater near you. Fucking like liar we- trailer. <laughs> Who in chat is actually like, this is so bad. I, I want to see this now. Like, I have to see how yeah. bad this is. Because I'm not the only person that is like, this is garbage. I need to see it. I know, like, other people like to see garbage movies. Um, I wish it said Blu-ray. That would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, 13 people voted yes on that. Uh, it's still got one point. So I'm thinking those 13 uh, yeah. people... Okay. Right, Ghost yeah, Theory is gonna see it. All right, all right. What do you? How many points are you gonna give that? None. <laughs> no. Okay. One point for me. One point from chat. That is Ryan's babe, and that is going to Guy Incognito. Two points to, for Ryan's babe. Guy Incognito. Have you seen this movie? Because he the the context was better than the trailer the context was great (laughs) and that's like a movie like i feel like this is a movie my roommate um subscribed to or you know like back in the day like uh when you had comcast or whatever cable service you would have and they would have their own video on demand shit and you go through looking for the new movies and maybe they'd have like one movie you've heard of that you want to see every month but then everything else was like complete garbage my roommate would just go through and watch anything. And these are like the type of the movies that he would watch. And it would, I would just like, you know, stop them early. But it's like Guy Incognito watched this movie all the way through. So it's like if I didn't know what I was getting into being like, this is a garbage movie. I don't know how long I'd be able to last. <laughs> Zardoz. He's the same guy that got me into Zardoz. I loved Zardoz, but he was like, let's watch this weird movie. <laughs> Sally was into weird movies. All right. Um, okay, Sam. All right. What do you got? Ready? Yup. Wait, what happened? It just jumped to the end of the trailer. Thirty years old and only a couple of lousy short-term relationships under my belt. But it wasn't for lack of trying. I dated. The guy couldn't keep eye contact with me for ten seconds. Babe, if you're not careful, you're gonna be the last one standing. Happy New Year, Miss Kate. JC Chabert, everybody. I think it's the guy I should pick to go out with. Maybe you're knocking on one door, hoping another will open. Thank you, Oprah. Don't call me Oprah. You're single and you're looking for a meaningful relationship. Our who's on match for you? ChristianMingle.com. You're right, this is wrong. This is wrong. What's wrong? I'm, I'm Paul. Isn't this my wife's not doing? This is weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's a weird way to meet somebody. It's a very strange new world. But the stuff between never really changes. Family, joy, our love for the Lord. Yeah, I gotta love him. <laughs> nice record, record scratch. scratches. Record scratches and trailers. I love record scratches and trailers. a little like out of Leave it to Beaver, but... You guys, he was so charming. This is the guy you met online! I know, but it's not like that. This can only end badly. Sweetie, you're desperate and you're grasping at straws. You're not Christian. Christian. When is the last time you stepped into a church? Last month. You went to church last month. Okay, so it was a wedding. You're not going back to 1950s, sweetie. You're going to church. What am I doing? There was something about it all, though. Everyone seemed so happy. Is it? Just me, or have you always dressed like my grandma? There is something not is genuine. A good looking guy. There. You are just being blinded by love. You seem lost. He looks like a dweeb. Being a believer, what does that even mean? I just wish that you hadn't lied. Wanted to say thank you for opening my eyes my heart to to all of this for the first time i just i have this sense of purpose in my life praise god dear lord we just want to thank you for bringing paul and i together you really did good thank you i have never prayed over coffee before do you have any water (coughs) two two record scratches 
That's great. I loved it. Uh, uh, fucking, you know, like, like, what a great twist to this trailer. You're watching it and you're like, oh, like, oh, this is some, like, weird lifetimey Christian rom-com kind of thing. And then all of a sudden it's like, twist! This was uh, written and directed by fucking, uh, what's his name? Roger Dorn or Rick Dorn from Major League. Corbin Burnson. What'd you say? L.A. Law. Wait. Yeah, sorry. I was muted. L.A. Law. Yeah, was it Roger that. Roger Dorn? Yeah, I think it was Roger Dorn. <laughs> um, man, that is funny. Two record scratches, too. Oh. Uh, for the women and gay men in chat, and if you're whatever attracted to dudes, um, was that guy attractive? He seemed like a very plain, normal, like default human male. She's hot. No. Is she is her personality so bad that like that's how desperate she is? Is he the best she can uh, do on Christian Mingle? <laughs> I I also think they like, like they kinda ha I mean maybe the movie's better. But they kind of half measured the premise where it's like they should it should have been fucking wedding crashers, you know, like she should have been like, hey, I got this Christian Mingle idea. Like and then she goes on Christian Mingle and then she's going on these dates with these hot Christian dudes, but it's not right. And then Double she's down. like, I got to stop this. Yeah, I got to yeah, yeah. stop this. And then she meets this really nice Christian dude. Yeah. That's like the one. She was but just instead, like wrecking lives. <laughs> instead, they they went the, and I I don't think she was supposed to be Jewish. Also, like I think that's a thing. It's like they they I think she was just like kind of agnostic. I mean, I wish she was Jewish. I feel like that's a better movie. She's curly hair and she has to get it straightened. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey, don't tell Chad this idea. <laughs> this is a pitch you should put in your pocket. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's funny too. Like she lied, but also if she knew her Christianity a little bit better, she could do a confession and just clear out that lie. And she'd be all good again. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit, hit up the booth. Everything. Yeah, boom. You're in and out. Um, hey. hey, that's not your job, asshole. <laughs> the priest already told me to say 10 Hail Marys and I said them. So yeah, she could keep lying. You. She could be like, well, I lied, but I did a confession and did 10 Hail Marys and five Our Fathers and we're good now. He's so like, if you're judging me, that's on you and God. Wait a second. I found out you didn't do those Hail Marys and Our Fathers. Well, guess what? Who I'm told on you my that? way to go do <laughs> yeah. other ones. There's no time limit. I can do them whenever. <laughs> I got to go apologize to God. That's how it works. They apologize to God, right? I'm pretty sure how it works. Hey, Principal Rolls has resubscribed. And Shihoon Alicia has subscribed. Sup. Sup. Epic fail Marys. <laughs> oh! <laughs> word. That's good. You gotta Damn, go say. That. All right. Let's, steal let's go. That. Let's go in and Chris, Christian mingle. You're going in the notebook. Okay. Let's um, go in. Did I put the poll up for that? I missed what the score was. Sorry. Uncle Christian oh, you know it, Angle says no. You know Sally, it, Sally says it, yes. Here's the movie. Here's what it is. Is like she's doing Tinder. Tinder's gross. What? It's like you don't all, see it in that. There's no Tinder in the no, beginning. It's not like she's no, trying no, a bunch of different apps. Here, here's the movie though. It's like that. Yeah, that's the thing. Is uh, uh, it's called the movie's called Dating App, uh, or it's called Swipe Right. That's the movie. It's called Swipe Right. Okay. All right. And it's she's trying Tinder. It's just not working. And then people are like, "Well, maybe you're on the wrong app." 
and then she light bulb and then she's trying all these other apps so she's on j date she's on christian mingle she's on farmers only and she's just changing her personality to match the dates but she's like juggling too many things yeah she's, so she's on craigslist and like <laughs> there's a scene where she goes on a craigslist date and it like all of a sudden switches to like a suspense movie because it's a fucking serial killer it's the craigslist killer uh. <laughs> yes yo you just wrote like a dope movie yeah she's on miss connections being i was that girl <laughs> have i shown you this picture i don't know if this shows up uh, it doesn't show up. Uh, who's the picture? Um, it's it's Georgia Hardstark. Oh, this is me cheating on on on. This is my dating app photo. I, I know you can't really see it, but that's your fault. I'm like, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta tell her. <laughs> oh, I, I told Vince, I was like, Hey, Vince, oh, can I get a Vince? picture of your wife? And he said, yeah. And I was like, Hey, can I get a picture? And, uh, she's like, yeah, sure. And, um, uh, I was like, I'm going to put this on dating profiles. And then it just slays. <laughs> 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 it's just crazy. It's just crazy. How like that one picture gets me more matches than anything else in the world. <laughs> I feel like I want something. Ooh. Um, um, I wonder who who else do we know that could be good for that? If I just fill my profile of like uh, 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 chicks that women like, chicks that other chicks like. Yeah, I found women's catnip. True crime podcast hosts. <laughs> it's too easy, guys. It's too easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, um, how many points are you going to give Christian Mingle? Uh, two. I want to give it two as well. I thought it was funny. Why is it so loud? I keep seeing, I think I'm peeking it, crazy. It I'm definitely sorry. was like this, like in between of, <laughs> uh, of like Sam during, but like it felt like Sam during in Lifetime movies. Corbin Burnson directed it. There's two record scratches. That trailer had a lot going on. It did. So that's two points from me, two points from you, one point from chat. Five points. Who is getting those five points? Five points for Christian Mingle. Grimward. Quality pick. Okay, ready? Are right, you ready? Chat, you ready? Okay. I'm the, I'm the parent. You're the child running away to live by yourself. I should be telling you how to live. How should I live? Simple, don't go. Good luck. I don't like my prepare bow. There, I said it. Mm -hmm. oh, I think thing? I know this. I think I know what this movie is. Course, even if you're not sure, just start spraying. Do you know who's in this movie? Bud Court. Of course not. That's a two bedroom. Oh, it's, uh, uh, um, I heard that, uh, Melanie Lansky. Melanie Lansky. We start Friday night. Melanie Lansky. Oh, Johnny Knoxville is in this. Why would you name your bar that? Oh, because Cheers was taken. That's Rachel. You can take some lessons from her. She just cut some guy's ponytail off. I'd like you to meet my new bartender. Um, Violet. Jersey. Just to get you started, okay? No problem. Oh, Jersey! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I've never had anyone stare at my ass for half an hour, so I'm going to say goodnight. Just for the record, I was only staring at the first 15 minutes. <laughs> is this a church meeting or is this a bar? Make some noise! 
Is that Tyra Banks? Is Tyra Banks? Yes, it is. It's Tyra Banks. Uh, remember this song? Oh, yeah. So I'm a coyote? Five nights a week. Now shake it! Okay, give me a glass of water. Do we serve water in this bar? Jordan also. Wait, who's that? Wait, that was Johnny Knoxville? Yeah, hold on. Oh, next to him? Oh, yeah, yeah next to him. But wait, that what? what's that guy's name? It's like Chris something. He's like a comedian. Yeah, he had a TV show on Comedy Central for a while. Um, that was like, he had been acting for a while, and he's like showing all his clips, and, he, and it's like, he was in like this type of thing all the time. Like these yeah, movies yeah. where he was just like one line or something. Chris Wilde? Yeah. Was name. Chris Wilde. Wilde now or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it was like, he was always the guy with the kind of spiky bleach blondy hair and stuff. And he said, oh, I'm partying. It was a very like uh, uh, Jamie Kennedy kind of role, you know? Yeah. Was this the chain bar? Because I remember it was in New York um, and it was like a real bar and it's like based on a true yeah. story. Uh-huh. I think, yeah, they, they, they franchised it. They, I mean, I think there was like Coyote Uglies in Vegas and... Uh, yeah, I think it kind of blew up. I think it's so funny too, though. The like, the guy. Uh, can I get a water? A very reasonable thing to ask for at a bar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I get Hell a water? No. Like, Fuck you. We don't serve water here. Uh, but also, it's just like it's a lot of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you're like. All right. I mean, I know you're not like a big bar patron anymore, but like, I'm not going to a bar, you know, cause like the service is shitty and the girls are mean who work there, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, I went to this bar the other night and I was wearing my tie from work Yeah, you know, the expensive one and this girl fucking cut it off. It was awesome. It was great. Really? We got to go back. Well, it you sounds let me like write a- ugly in the poll. Man, yeah, because they're polls. afraid. Because they're afraid people are saying, "Is Babe the Pig ugly?" In polls. <laughs> oh, that's probably why why they don't let you say Babe. Is it, there's probably people that were polling people like, "Oh, is this person a Babe or are they ugly?" I just I remember like when this came out being like, man, I would hate to go to that bar. That bar looks awful. <laughs> yeah. As a trailer though, I am interested because I'm like, this bar looks awful. I have to see this movie. But it's like uh Johnny Knoxville and that other spike here dude are like, This is the best bar ever. And they're like just two solo dudes like staring at like <laughs> the only four women uh in in yeah. the bar that work there and let me tell you, you a uh, secret. The women that work at the bar don't want to date you. They're they want to get your tip money. So um, yeah. And hilarious. like meanwhile, there's like a bar next door where there's tons of women like that yeah. are actually there and like kind of like why aren't there any guys to talk to? <laughs> They're all next door getting yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna give that two points. Uh. I think it's funny that it's a Jerry Brockheimer film. I think that's very funny. Uh, he probably went there. Like, that's the thing is he was probably like, this is like, like a bar version of my movies. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it a point. I'm not going to give it two points. I think it's, it's very successful. It's like, it's an iconic trailer. Uncle Christian like, says I- the woman's bar only serves water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the movie walked so hustlers could run. <laughs> Wait, Nate, I got a question. Yeah. So you used to manage a bar. I did indeed. If you refused patrons water, how, how, how much of a problem is that? Like, like it seems to me like something that's like very against the rules where it's like, Hey, first off, it's an establishment. You're supposed to have water available, like at, at any sort of restaurant, right? 
Well, yeah, I, I, I guess. I don't know if there's any rules on it, but here's the thing is like, you want people sobering up, you know, like you don't want yeah, people, exactly. you're responsible for people. So you're That's my giving second people point. Yeah. water. If somebody's doing shots like crazy, you're like, here's a water on me, you know, like shit like that. You're, you're giving waters away more often than not. Um, <laughs> so, you know, if somebody's drinking water all night and, and whatever, you're like, Oh, I hope they're the, the designated driver or responsible for their friends or something. But man, yeah. Uh, that <laughs> is funny. Uh, can I, can I get a water? Hell no. H2O. I'm an alcoholic and I had to come to here <laughs> for a business meeting. Yeah. We don't take alcoholics here. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing in a bar, creep? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I bet you're here just to stare at my ass. No, also, she took the you? guy home. Like, that was like staring at her ass. She's like, you were staring at my ass for half an hour. Let's hang out. It's like, that doesn't, I feel like that's setting a bad precedent for dudes to go at bars and stare at the women that work there. You know? Yeah. He was a stalker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course yeah. He does it. yeah I'm going to wait around until you're off your shift and then like meet you on the streets. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I see you're leaving work now. Stared at your ass. Only 15 minutes out of the 30 that guy you thought I was. So, you yeah. know, Oh, also, don't be scared. No one's around. <laughs> have you seen this movie? No, I, uh, the greatest... I put it on at, during it, it was out when I was working at a video store, so I did put it on. Yeah, and Mike would be like, Wait, "What's going on?" Yeah, he's got a broken arm. Can you help me get this couch into the back of my van? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> um, I got a busted arm. Come on, help me! Is that a real was movie? She, <laughs> was she a great big fat person? <laughs> a great big fat person. That same character for the another character, everyone. Um, she great for prayer. Uh, I'd fuck me. <laughs> what size Dude. do you wear? Um, what I think is also great about this trailer and like what they're showing the movie is about. There's this whole other, and I wouldn't even say it's like the B storyline. It's like the main storyline, and the bar is just kind of like the vehicle. Is she's like a songwriter, and her mom was a songwriter, but not a performer. So she's like trying to write a song. So the whole thing is like getting her to perform her own music and stuff. And that's like the actual storyline of the movie, not in the trailer at all. It's really funny. <laughs> and okay, it's also, so those... it's, it also sounds like, I, it, it sounds like the baggage that would come along with the, with, with, uh, the like kind of dream of dating one of these bartenders it sounds like so that that like if this and, and this isn't me i'm talking about like if johnny knoxville in this movie like got to date that girl and then she's like yeah and i'm a songwriter do you want to hear my song it sounds like the part that he'd be like uh fine <laughs> I, I guess sure oh that's 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 great that's awesome do you want to like flip some bottles around and spray me with water? Wear leather pants. <laughs> I mean, Where oh, uh, <sighs> that four points go to. <laughs> play, Abby Sally says, "Play your song." How about you play your song after we bang? <laughs> uh, what was that one called? The Coyote Ugly. Guy Incognito again. <laughs> Sorry, double. I think Guy Incognito. We already did one for. Did we? I think we did. A guy Cognito submitted Ryan's babe. So at least he had some points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sam, you're up next. Okay. Maybe wow. Fini should have played the bar owner, but overdoing it and making everyone uncomfortable. No, that woman who was like, we don't serve water. It was her bar. She was not a very responsible bar owner. All right. Okay. All right. I, I this one piques my interest. Yeah, I cue you, yes. Ooh, okay. I just saw the title of this and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm interested. Why did you leave, Mom? <laughs> it's a good beard. <laughs> yeah, it's, apparently Will Arnett's in, or Will Forte's in this movie, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I screwed up, so I left. I missed having you. Are 
these Jawas? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Jawa? <laughs> Come back here, Jawa. We'll steal your I'm going to get your light bulb eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Lightbulb. Am I Is that Michael Sarah? Hold on, what was his name? Hold on. Lithorian. My name is Lithorian. And my people are elves. <laughs> it went from my kiss to like another kissing. Back to back. After all these years, I have you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, they do the Ewok fighting. <laughs> Is that Michael Bryan? <laughs> <laughs> it was called Unexpected Race. How fucking weird is that? <laughs> How fucking weird is that? Can we watch this again? I feel oh, like weird. It, a weird what? There's. What is this does, movie here? Does Jack Black do a remake oh. of this? Official trailer for Unexpected Race, number three, starring Jack Black. Okay. Well, yeah. All right, we're going to deep dive and we're going to watch all these Unexpected Race trailers, but there's one that has Jack Black in it. Okay, first of all, so it's elves exist, right? But it's, it's really yeah. elf exists. We only see one elf. <laughs> all right, and is this okay. the third one in the series? We watch the second it, one first. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, what? There was one trailer that. Wait, let me let me watch this one before. Is it the don't secret think this is, It could be Panama. This already looks like the same scene, but looks way better. Oh okay, wait, all right. This is number three. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I guess there, let's watch number two. Let's watch number okay. two. <laughs> Unexpected race three. Utah Wolf Productions. Unexpected race. Unexpected race two. Here we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> the unexpected race, right? What That's a fucking that? title. All right, unexpected. All right, so just just to remember what the quality of the first one we saw, right? Okay. And isn't that like almost exactly the the new moon productions or whatever the full moon productions? I think so. Okay. Agent Forrest. What can I do for you? Sir, your new assignment. Talk to the for <laughs> He evaded us. He's hard to find. I don't know what you're talking So I guess he gets away in, in the first one? Now Incognito yeah. says, Jack Black was introduced to director Gru's films by Jared Hess, director of Napoleon Dynamite and Nacho Libre. Black starred in Nacho Libre, became a huge fan of Gru's, and volunteered to take part in Expected Rays. Okay. <laughs> Talking about... He's just like you. There's no one left. Your government killed them all. Not all. I want Is she an elf? I need your help. Anything. I need plans to a government facility. <laughs> they have my wife. Wait. I have chosen you because you are the elite. I want this man. You all will be the ones to do that. Good luck. Thank you. These are the plans? Sir, I've got <laughs> Oh my god. He puts on tactical gear. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that, that's Lithorian? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, hold on. Check out this chick on the bridge. <laughs> Who are you shooting at? Oh, there she's doing it again. Like the point person. Be cautious. Yes, sir. Wait, I just want to say if I'm running through a, from a squad, not to be like mean or anything like that, this is probably against TOS, uh, but if I'm running through from a squad of like special ops agents, you know, like badass special ops agents, and I see this dude on the left, I'm probably going to be like, eh! <laughs> hold on, hold on. I don't know. I think you might be blocked. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Here. Go to 147. Go to 147. Yeah, no, no, no. I just had to move you out of the frame of it. Yeah. I'd be like, cool beret. The beret doesn't even fit his head. Okay. I'm like, I, you know, I have a chance here. <laughs> How deep undercover were you? Yeah. And, and I, someone said At gravy seals. Place. And I just want to. <laughs> I just want to say, I can say that joke. I'm heavy enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at these. This is why I can say that. Uh. Oh, I just gotta back that up again. I love how whenever there's a movie like this at this budget where they have like some kind of squad, it's like, you know, half the, half the people have to bring their own like wardrobe, you know, it's like, all right, we got camo for you, but we don't have a shirt for this guy. They don't make camo big enough for this guy. These are like yoga pants that are in a camouflage <laughs> color. They're not like real camo, you know, uh, in the leather jacket. Like this is always the funniest thing. It was always funny to me that like Trevor wore leather jackets like this. Yeah. He just <laughs> wore shit that he got for free. Yeah. Cautious. Yes, sir. It's not a great way to pick a lock. <laughs> Stick a, a knife. Lock. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the chick from the first movie? Did they get married and she turned into an elf? <laughs> That's some face acting. Jeez, he's really going for the kiss! What the fuck? <laughs> That's aggressive. We don't have much time. I must get you out of here. We don't have that much time. I, I had to get some fucking mouth action in though. What a weird looking guy. Like... Now. He's got fucking elf ears, and that's like the like least weird fe feature on his face. <laughs> I want her alive. <laughs> he had a heart attack. He didn't get shot. He was like too much running. <laughs> He ran right into the gun. <laughs> right. Wait, she didn't see him standing there? It's not like she rounded a corner. <laughs> this is another elf. Hello, father. <gasps> That's his dad? This guy's wig is great. Is this just the movie? Stop is this. this not a trailer? You're our race, not theirs. They are my people. Is there a carbon monoxide leak where they filmed? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. He killed his own son. So wait, Jason is this is right trailer in. Hey, or is this Jason. just the movie? Is this? It says official Great. trailer. The unexpected race too. The more the unexpected her. She threw a knife at the girl, and the woman falling over was a different actor. I saw that, but the woman falling over was like shot in the head. I think it, I think it was just a bad edit. All right, so so. 
That was the the more unexpected race, and this is the most unexpected race. <laughs> the the unexpected race three, the most unexpected race that ever was. All right, so this looks amazing already, right? Like this looks really fucking good so far. Who are you? My name is Amber. Why are you here? <laughs> All the My budget went into the production car. And the whole wow. two people knew. Did exist. I'm the last. Look at the wardrobe! The guns! This oath I make for The gunshots sound like gunshots this time. Did you notice that? Yeah, yeah. You know what it is? Is like, so like, Jack Black probably saw these first two movies were like, this is hilarious. And the guy like introduced him and the, and then he was like, yeah, I'll do your movie. Yeah, that sounds fun. And so he had Jack Black attached to this and then he went around Utah and was like, hey, will you invest in my Jack Black movie? And people were like, yeah, of course. The tracks. Yeah. Their deaths will not be in vain. Oh, there's another. Wait, John Heater. Was that Napoleon from Napoleon Dynamite? Already look at this. This this already looks way better. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's Napoleon. E that's either John Heater or, or his brother, because I know he has a brother that uh, I think looks really similar to him. It might be his twin. This is the sheriff. The highway is secure. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a twist. It's like it's a twist. How come he wasn't driving a, sh a sheriff mobile? Yeah, John Heater is in it. Damn. Damn. That was fun. That Unexpected was fun. race. Um... We're now I know on that the first one. Now I know that's a thing. All right, we're voting on the first one, not the series, but you know. <laughs> oh my god, we have we we might have to add Unexpected Race three to the live review queue. Yeah, maybe not the first two. Depend. I mean, may, if they're like an hour long, maybe. But I think this is like a. The Friday live review show, you know, if you ever think about doing that on off self sucks, you should think about doing Friday live reviews. Um, Sam, I'm giving that two points. I'm going to give that two pin two points. Also. Your other what? side. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, with your tiny fist and my huge fist, we hit this thing and this button. Goes so that's five points from Sam and I, because that was fun. Um, All right, here, here's something else that, that Steven Grew made in uh, 2010. Oh, it's only three minutes long, so this might be on YouTube. Uh, Tomb, Raider, points. Tomb Raider, Holy Statue of Light. Mm. Which is funny, because it's 2010. I think there were already two other Tomb Raider movies. Can you just make a Tomb Raider movie? Who? All right. No, it, it's a short. You can do whatever the fuck you want. All right, hold on. Let's give those points out because that was an eight point. Chat gave that three. That Chat gave that three points. That gets seventy seven oh. percent. Yes, we gave that five points. That's eight points. Who gets the rich, eight points? The rich get richer. That goes to Flanja. Oh, Flanja! Wow, this is why Flanja and Panwell end up on the top, guys. They find this shit. That is fucking ah, trailer boy gold. You can make it. You just can't monetize it. Interesting. Are right, you want to watch yeah. it, Sam? It's two minutes and 30 seconds. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's watch it. <laughs> the unexpected race. Oh, sorry. I was waiting for you to oh. choose it. <laughs> I got uh, it. Uh, uh. 
It only has 500 views, which I think is even more special. <laughs> I'm telling my chosen that was Legolas. <laughs> Is that just right on her boobs? Like intentionally, I think. You can't really see the map or her face. Yeah. It's Laura Croft again. <laughs> She's been spotted heading to Venezuela. Find her. Yes, sir. <laughs> this fall? Well, hello there. <laughs> 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 All right, put this over here and. The good thing it wasn't in the fly. Good thing it wasn't <laughs> yeah. in the cave. It's just next to that skull. <laughs> Hand over the key, Lara. The Irish? Brune. Don't believe I've had the pleasure. And you never will. No, he's German. His name's Von Brune and he's does his uh, W's like V's. <laughs> he really stepped into that one, huh? He, he lived, though. Yeah. How hard can it be to deal with... Crime? Why is this guy's shoulder so small? Again? It better not. I think that that man might be disabled. Uh, or. I don't know, yeah. That's the whole thing. Time to go up. <laughs> Time to go up. You see these other ones that pop up? He's got yes. a Street Fighter one and a Star Wars one. <laughs> that was Holy good. Statue of Light. Wow. Uh, we should do a show where we just watch this guy's trailers. He's got big <laughs> head mode turned on. Uh, <laughs> oh, The Mandalorian Season 2. Teaser of the upcoming Boba Fett by Utah Wolf Productions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And and these, like, these have like under a thousand views. This is great. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. Remember this. Utah Wolf Productions. We should just do a show where we just watch all of these. Um, you know, maybe maybe Mormonism is like a good thing because, like, if this guy, if this filmmaker wasn't Mormon, he probably would be making porno, right? Like, that probably would be what he'd be like. It's his his faith is the only thing keeping him from doing that. Let me say this though, it's like he has but a passion for movie porno. making. What's wrong with porno? What's wrong with porno? What's wrong with porno? He's his passion is making movies, and he's making movies like he's doing what he loves outside of your Hollywood system, Sam. Yeah. You know. Um, so I uh, do we already say who got those? Oh no, it was, that was a flanger thing, man. That was. Um, I, I feel Whoa, good. What a, what a, I feel so good. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, I'm like. So somebody asked, a few people asked, why was the first movie a chick flick? It it was about a, a, a woman and her relationship with her father, and then it was like a romance, you know, like so. Yeah, it was, that was, the, the easy way to sum up that one is Utah Twilight Elves. Yeah, I think it works. Okay, ready? Yes. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just about four hours late here, Rita. Rita? Anita. Gita. Gita! Close. <gasps> 
Olympic star Doug Dorsey is the best hockey player in America, and he's about to retire. Kate Mosley was America's sweetheart. Until Hercules here learns how to lock his grip, this will have to do. And she's got a nickname that rhymes with rich. What a thing. For both of them, the Olympics had become a faraway dream. Yeah. You try. Until someone... Those are figure skates, pal. ...set up the <laughs> ultimate blind date. Figure who skates. the hell do you think you are? I'm a guy who came a long way from lunch. Please don't let me keep you from the trough. Enough! The king of the rink and America's ice queen just became the have the line a in the trailer. Don't quit your day job. <laughs> you please put me down. <laughs> you treat me! Guess that move needs some work. You've been doing what? I've been doing figure skating. Finger painting? As a matter of fact, I do. Somebody in the back yells, Dude! end up in the basement. <laughs> I don't like to see her upset. If I was you, I'd invest in blindfolds. Are they going to get it before they kill each other? You look really nervous. How nervous are you? <laughs> Dorsey and Mosley, the American <laughs> Olympic <laughs> team's <laughs> best shot at the goal. You're falling for him. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Thanks, you missed it. I am throwing myself at you. Get out of my way. No problem. I've been practicing that move for a year and a half. D.B. Sweeney. Man, would I love to see you play hockey. Moira Kelly. Any day. The cutting edge. It's not like his nose was perfect. They didn't say Topic in the whole fucking trailer? That's too nuanced. Too, too nuanced of a line. He has to ask what the, the whole thing is, and they, she has to go, it's a topic. But in the trailer, that's a line you could have in the trailer, especially when he fucks up and they show him fall in the trailer. Damn. Damn. Yo, I love that movie. I know. All right. I'm a little disappointed the trailer didn't have the topic line, but damn, I love that movie. I thought that was a good trailer, though. I I, I did think that was a fun trailer. I, I was very was disappointed great. with that. The music was great. It like was like really like it really like got you into the premise. Uh, I love how like stupid. Oh, you're a figure skater? What finger? Love painter? that that macho like they use figure skating as a euphemism yeah. for like gay, like throughout the whole movie. So I think it's pretty funny. Like. Figure skater, I'm a construction guy now. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's also, I got hit in the head playing hockey and I don't play hockey anymore. It's also funny how like like I know it's like more nuanced than this, but like uh uh in the trailer they present it as this guy's America's best hockey player until he has to retire and he gets hit in the head and then he's like well i guess the only thing i can do now is become a construction worker you know <laughs> it's like like i know like in the actual movie he's not the best hockey player in america but like if you're fucking like wayne gretzky and you have a season is uh, like career ending injury you might consider going into broadcasting or something there's you other might- avenues <laughs> You might have some money saved up if you're really America's best hockey player. You know, like, yeah, yeah. even though Wayne Gretzky's uh, going to hit him, but whatever. Somebody asked if, if it was a chick flick, and it's like, I feel like this is on the level of, like, Dirty Dancing. Not as well-known, but it's on that in that same vibe. Uh, yeah, two points for me. Two points for me. Uh, four. Chat gave that seventy-two percent. Wow, very close. Very Two close. Chat. Yeah, nine people said no. Wow, nine people. This is Dirty Dancing's little sister. Do you yeah, know what? So. Nine people said no pick. Ah, I like it. What you did there, <laughs> Ryan Scott Adkins. You are getting six points. Ah, Ryan Adkins. He's taking my class right now. Oh. Long day for him too, then, huh? Yeah, long bit, long day for him. I think. Are you ready? I'm ready.
Who's ready? That's 730 total. Or 405 and, and 325. Or if you want to split it the other way, it, it's 175 and, and 555. You can keep it all if you just stop doing that. <laughs> Oh, she's too Poor smart. Casey Carlisle, getting A's was easy. Oh, oh, come on. Like you didn't get an A? Not with the plus. Scary. But Not fitting with the plus. is. I don't That's really go to parties. <laughs> Sorry. What a bitch! It's nearly impossible. Any way that I could take a few lessons? Welcome to our snowplow sand class. I'm going to the 2010 Olympics. Could you try not to, like, squish me? Until the moment. I bet there is an exact aerodynamic formula. A twist of fate spun her world around. She invented the triple axle. She's using math to figure skate? Well, when what? When you sign with Nike, remember, I'm a size six and a half. This spring. Heard you landed a triple. You're as good as I am. No way. You glide. <laughs> Got some raw talent. I don't have a skater. You don't have a coach. We're a perfect match. Okay. Keep Kim your draw. She's got eyes in the back of her horns. Stand your ground. Oh, it's hanging to me at billions. I'll try that about 5,000 more times. Right. No way. Are you going to place this year? Don't let them make you nervous. You're smarter and you're cooler than all those people. Find your edge. Winners make sacrifices. You have to want it more than anything else. Why are you doing this? Mom, it is about feeling strong and beautiful for once in my life. Yeah. And our next skater is Casey Carlisle. Deep breath. You know what's confusing is when there's that other Cusack sister. And then you sister. let it out. <sighs> Walt Disney Pictures presents... How can I not see? And you Cusack see me better or something? than anybody. It's like it looks almost Joe like Jim Cusack, Cusack, Kim Cattrall, Michelle Trachtenberg. With this kind Michelle of skater, anything is possible. What was Michelle Trachtenberg from? Olympics. Either Vampire Slayer. Ice Princess. Just can't keep off the ice, can you? <laughs> uh... I know we just did a rabbit hole. I want to rabbit hole something really quick, kind of, but I just bring up a short sure. clip of something that is just one of my favorite things uh, while we do the vote for this. Um, I, I like that not as much oh, as... Uh, um, what was that one called? Ice Princess. All right, the poll is up. Okay, you ready? While the poll's going on for this, yep. and I don't want it, this to affect people's votes, but here is a clip from I think this is some behind the scenes uh, sex, sex in sex and the city, sex in the city uh, sex thing, the city. sex and the city uh, thing. She was in PMP. Uh, where she, where she's, where Kim Cattrall is talking about what she does with her husband at home. I read poetry and sonnets, and he plays the upright bass. Yamakipiebo, cedere fakebo, in dog Latin, he quoth. Uje, suffice Well, he bit all the he dogs and winked at all the she dogs. The town never knew such a hullabaloo as that little dog raised till the end of that day. Is this the character, or we is just this have a good control? rhythm together? You know, I, he sort of feels me out. I feel him out, and uh, we go for it. <laughs> no, this is Kim Cattrall. I read poetry and sonnets, and he plays the upright bass. Yamakipiebo, cedere fakebo, in dog Latin he quoth. Uje, suffice the red. Laura Mipsum. <laughs> well, he bit all the he-dogs and winked at all the she-dogs. The town never knew such a hullabaloo as that little dog raised till the end of that day. <laughs> we just have a good rhythm together, you know? It, he sort of feels me out, I feel him out, and uh, we go for it. Do you think he was at any point like, let's not do this, let's don't? I uh, yes. We can do this at home, but let's not like have people in and record this. 
Yeah, and he, he's probably like, we don't really, we've done this once. Yeah, we did we do one time. <laughs> you're pretty light, and, you're, you're very dark. And it was it was just, we did this once, and we were just fucking around. Yeah, we were hammered. <laughs> yeah. We were drunk as fuck. We don't need an excuse. Um, That's awesome. I do want to say, Michelle Trackenberg, too. Um, I follow her on Instagram. <laughs> I will give you a, 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 a trigger warning. She broke her foot recently and posted a picture of her foot on Instagram. So if you, it's nothing like, um, there's no like uh, lacerations, but it's like a big bruise. So if you don't like feet and don't want to see bruises, I will look away and I will tell you when to look back. Okay. Um, okay. Are you, wait, are you. I'm doing it showing now. it on the on the stream. I'm showing it on the stream. I'm showing it on the stream. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Um, yeah, it's it's pretty gnar. Um, there, let me try and fix. Fuck this whole scene. I just wow, that looks like she like broke all her toes, huh? Yeah, it Ooh. looks bad. And I guess it's a whole thing where like she like worked on it. Like she hurt her foot, and then they just kept shooting. She was like, I'll just tough it out. And then it just got worse. All right. So if you looked away, you can look back now. That's gone. Uh, Although she also looks totally different now. Let me, this is not a sketchy one, but like she uh, looks very not like the Michelle Trackenberg from the Buffy days. Anyway. So um, what would you give Ice Princess as a score? Because chat gave it 51% no, meaning it got one point. I'd give it one point too. Her dad was Iggy Pop on Pete and Pete. I'll give it a point as well. That's three points. Who's getting those three points? Those three points are going to Flanja. No, just really? kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was I'm like, kidding. damn. Kidding. We are really sucking uh, up. Uh, Ice Queen. Uh, Ice Princess. Slim Katie. Bitco, my feet are gorgeous. You've not heard of my my OnlyFans for pictures of my feet? I have perfect feet. It's nuts. I could have been a foot model. Right, what was that? Three points? Three points for Slim Katie. All right, wait. I want to show you a uh, trigger warning. I want to show you uh, a, a bad foot thing. Uh, did you see the new Jackass? No. Uh, I don't have guy. to prove it. Go to Nate's Feet. OnlyFans.com slash Nate's Feet. Yeah, yeah. You have to pay for it. He doesn't no, have it's to prove free it. Now. You have to pay for it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You want to get... It's free, but if you want the, you know, the pay for content, check your DMs. Uh, so there's this dude in Jackass, uh, Zach Holmes. Uh, who Zach Ass? Well, yeah, Zach asked, so I've had a little interaction with and uh nice guy. Uh but there is, is a guy? clip. There is a clip on his Instagram that is like one of the worst breaks I've ever seen. Yeah. I I Have saw you that seen and it? I was like <laughs> It was so gross and I was like, oh no. It was one of the worst breaks I've ever seen. Does do people want to see it? Should we show it? I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh, you know what to say. Right, I've I've right. seen it, and like, because it's a video, it's somehow worse. Yeah, is it TOS? I don't know if it's TOS. It's bad. It's bad. People, yeah, people in in chat are saying they've seen it. Uh, people are like, no, yeah, should, yes, no, yeah. Check Uncle, out Uncle Christian, Zach's Joe homes is, I think his his Instagram is Zach Ass. Yeah, it's Zach Ass. Uh, oh, here I found it. Uh, Wait, oh wait. Here, you can watch me watch it. It's uh his post, if you go to his in Zach ass, it's his post from August thirtieth, twenty eighteen. What's his oh, what's uh, <laughs> What what's his Instagram t name? Is it Zachas? Zachas, yeah. Oh, I thought it was, but I just looked it up and it was Z A C K ass. Z A C K, not Z A C H.
That's uh, something else. Um. Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, guys. Um, let's keep it rolling. All right, I got one. You ready? Uh, don't care for it. Well, it's too late. We're starting. <laughs> Have you, Sally's gonna involved faint. With bad, involved with bad things. Are you? Oh my. Exterior. Larry I've never Sheely seen this movie. Nice guy. Are you? But it's not gonna be fine. Putting on a good show. Ah, that's professional. He's just been given his big break. There's a certain witness with psychological defects, <laughs> and I want him held on to. But he's about so to. So the guy get from uh, uh, he's kidding, he's kidding. an even bigger surprise. The Hangover. Hello. Yep. I'm sorry. Do we know each other? And uh, National Treasure. I guess Lewis would feel more and, comfortable uh, two independent contractors working on this. I want you to that, work with that other I want one. You to watch it. She will be watching you. Let me tell you something. In every relationship, there's a bull and a cow. I'm the bull. You're the cow. You got that? Yes, this is the movie that ended their relationship. Me, Larry. What? Oh, come on. They're dating Larry. again, aren't they? I got nothing yeah, here. Which is great. You don't have a book. For well over a century, the adventurous flavor of Tabasco sauce has fired up generations of thrill seekers. Okay? That's good. I hope low waist and pants do you know, make a comeback. My bed. They're great. That's very kind of you. I'd love to. I'll do the whole thing professionally. This may be a good time to suggest that you not allow the seeds of cruel hope to sprout in your soul. I don't know what that means, but it sounds beautiful. Are and they engaged? Type. Good for them. Good night. Good night. Now. They deny it. Are you and Larry, sweetheart? Ma, I hope so. She's gorgeous. She thinks I'm beautiful. Yeah, she's blind to one eye. <laughs> the harder they resist it, a woman is beautiful. Now don't get yourself all tied in a knot. The longer they fake it, they drive me crazy. I don't even know why I had a crush on you back a long time ago when I first met you. The stronger it becomes. What is it? I love Ben Affleck and I love Jennifer Lopez. Sexy, unattainable girl sleeping in a bed right next to me. This is driving me crazy. I mean, she's taking a nap. Is it problematic that he's playing like a, a mentally challenged person? Jennifer Lopez. Uh, I don't think it was at the time, but definitely is now. Especially like the way he's playing it. New, my best Charmin ever. Charmin Ultra Double Girl. Problematic. Uh, I, hope they, I hope they do like a Geely too, right? To try and like, like address the elephant in the room, you know, like, like, look, we're engaged now. We did this thing. And, uh, you know, now, um, <laughs> JSPX fan says, Nate, it's so obvious you love them. You haven't smiled this hard through a trailer all night. Uh, yeah, they're great. They're great. I'm a big fan. I don't know about that movie though. It just seems to um, my blue heaven or something, you know. Like it just—it's. I mean, I heard it was a bad movie. Did anyone actually see it? Why did you say it seemed to my blue heaven? Hey, we're in the mob and we got to protect this guy. You know that kind of wasn't that my blue heaven? I I, I like my blue heaven. You don't like my blue sure. heaven? No, no, no. I, yeah, but this is like a not good my blue heaven, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I got you. I got you. I got those, you. Those dudes don't fuck in my blue heaven. But maybe that would have been a better movie. Maybe it would have been a worse. <laughs> Who knows? Steve Martin was great in that. They don't. They like, don't hey, fuck hey, each other. Capiche? Are you trying to say capiche? Cause don't say it. Cause when you say it, it hurts my ears. Was that Rick Moranis? Was he the other guy in my blue? Yeah, head? yeah. And uh, John, Cus John Cusack too oh. was in that. Uh... Yeah, I really liked my my blue heaven. What did you think of Jiggly? Uh, uh, eh, I'll give it a point. I might even Why? give it no points. I don't know. I'm going to give it a point for the low waist jeans. Wow, chat gave it zero points. Yeah, I'm going to give it, I'm going to go with chat. I'm going to give okay. it zero points. That's one point for me for Jennifer Lopez and low waist. Have you ever seen Ben Affleck's back tattoo? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, when did, chat, when did he, you haven't seen it. Did he that? 
Uh, I think after they broke up. It was after oh. a breakup because it's like a phoenix, you know. <clears throat> oh jeez. Yeah. There's there's 196 people here, but only like 35 people vote. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, some people are just listening, you know. Uh, that's fine. I I like the people who are just listening. All right, here here's one. Uh, uh, did did you say who that was from? I did. That was problematic. Problematic. Sorry, I keep forgetting to turn that button off. Uh, Jiggly was from Vanilla Bear. One point for you, Vanilla Bear. Here's one that has uh, uh, two cast members from oh, fucking tattoo. That movie had a cast member from uh, uh, The Hangover. This one's got two cast members from The Hangover. I just feel really close to you. So where do you see us going? Oh, I love this oh, movie, too. I see us going back to my place. <laughs> <laughs> Trip, as long as you're up, son. Oh. oh, come on, Pop. You two have fun. You live with your parents? Is that a problem? His parents want him out. He's 35 years old. He still lives at home. That is not normal. I've lived upstairs since I was three. He's going to take a stick of dynamite to get me out of my parents' house. And there's only one person for the job. I am a professional motivator. For many young men, self-esteem develops during a romantic relationship. So, I simulate one. Can I have a drink tonight? I can have your son moved out of this house by June 15th. Hallelujah! <laughs> Take it you like Japanese food. Oh, I love Zoe it. I'm also going to order a huge dessert, drink too much, and maybe talk about my old boyfriends. Does that intimidate you? <laughs> oh, that's not easy to do. For starters, you could make life a little more difficult for him. Yeah. Your bathroom needs cleaning. So there's Bradley the Cooper. Gloves, turn him and there's that out. dude. Something's wrong with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I have a minute alone with him? Oh, emotional crisis day is so critical. Totally bonds us. What's his real name anyway? I don't know. I just clean their teeth and chop off their... I had a nice time. I did too. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I'm in uncharted waters here, boys. The ultimate professional. <laughs> What's going on? The worst person in the world. I can't do it. Look, it's not that complicated. You like Trip. Tell him you like him. We'll meet her match. So you gotta go. You're dumping Paula. Everything's going along smooth, and all of a sudden, she gets serious. That strict program of yours, you're gonna have to start DDA. Matthew McConaughey. You are afraid of love. I do sleep well at night. On a twin bed with super. Dog Wimper was the equivalent of a record six. scratch. Sarah Jessica yeah, Parker. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna walk away? I'm giving her space. Now, I'm that's going both fingers. That's in both fingers. Failure to launch. Failure to launch. I like that one. I like that one. I I actually watched that movie recently. Yeah, it's good, right? <laughs> it is what you want out of a rom com. Poll is up. Um, I like Matthew McConaughey. I like um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's really funny that like he's like at no point I don't know how old he's supposed to be in that movie but he's like I'm never moving out of my parents house. That's <laughs> like yeah yeah exactly. I'm like I live with my mom again, you know, and it's like, he's like, I don't want to move out. It's like, oh, at the time, it, it just, I remember that scene, like, so, so weird. Uh, he was supposed to be 35 <clears throat> and he didn't want to move out. That's pretty funny. <laughs> but I mean, the house was dope. I get it. And it was like, he was all about being in a boat or something. Um, thinking him up, I submitted a Matthew McConaughey check flick too. He's in a bunch of them. Was he like the epitome of like what did things to ladies? parts did he get it get it going i think for for a period yeah that movie reminds me of another movie that i like i i want to see if anyone submitted uh is it how to lose a guy yeah did anyone submit that 
Not anyone, Italian. Man. We have a lot of submissions now, but and not a lot of show left. But uh, um, that was a funny one. Yeah, we should I'm actually give... looking looking at the clock. We should actually we should let's do a quick two more. How about just because we started late, three more? Do you have it in you for for six trailers or no? No, I don't. Okay, two more each. All right, all right. I'm I am only going to give failure to launch one point, and it looks like chat um, also gave it one point. Uh, I am going to give it two points. Who gets those two points? Those two points go to, uh, VR spin 77. Hey, VR spin 77. Four points, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. All right. Did you all see right. Uh, Matthew McConaughey? Hey, there another character. Hey, Did you see uh, 1737? Matthew McConaughey. Oh yeah. I, I a lot of these a lot of good ones came in late. Okay. Uh oh yeah, I, I saw 1737. Yeah, and that's from my favorite place, Austin, Texas. Um, is it my where, turn? Where that that movie was shot. Yeah. Okay. This I think is fun. This is this one I'm choosing is like kind of like what I had what I envisioned for this theme that we were doing. Um, so. Look at them. They're so happy and in love. Don't worry, Martha. You'll be next. Thank you. <laughs> She's drunk. Martha Alston <laughs> didn't think she'd ever find love. This is the Goonies music. Looking. That's when it happens anyway, <laughs> when you're not looking. Then he came into her life. I'm Whitman. He's brilliant. He's handsome. He's incredibly sexy. Did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the more she gets to know him, you've got some faxes. Ah. <laughs> the less she wants to know. Hello, mother. Turn around. Good birthing hips and an adequate bosom. I think we need to talk. You want to do something fun? I don't want to steal beer. Stolen beers taste better. I, I, you stealing from me? <laughs> Whitman, that wasn't fun. <laughs> now. She just wants to call it quits. I don't want to see you anymore. Is that clear? But he's just getting started. Ah! I love how you challenge me. Watch me now. Is this gentleman bothering you? I'm her lover. Oh, my God. God, you look sexy in that little hat. Touchstone Pictures presents <laughs> Helen DeGeneres. <laughs> And Bill Pullman. Do you think that I love you enough to break my own finger? Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny that this is a, that this is a comedy. That's love. <laughs> Jesus, I thought that was genuinely funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upset. I think it's cute they have his and hers matching haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the is that the TV show? Her is that what that's about? <laughs> you, 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 yeah, yeah, you. Not her. Hers the the uh, yeah. <laughs> the movie. Yeah, I like uh, you. That's you. a good show. Um, I, I haven't seen it. You took me to the U House. Yeah, well, we walked by. Yeah. Um, I I thought that was a fucking genuinely funny trailer. How crazy it was, but like, in in like a different lens, though. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. This guy is crazy, and like, this is stalker behavior. And in yeah. the movie, it was probably like, this is a kooky guy. Deleted scenes. Isn't of sex. this quirky? Yeah. Um, it's it's just really funny how also it was like how. Ellen's agents and stuff were trying to portray her, you know, as a 
stand-up comedian getting into acting before she came out of the closet, you know? Pretty fun. <clears throat> that also reminds me, uh, you know, it, I think it kind of is like that, hey, like, let's do, like, what about Bob, but, like, with a relationship, you know? It's very much that kind of tone. And what's funny is that uh, with uh, the new Tig and Seek episodes are coming out at the end of the month, and with one of those episodes, we did a thing where, like, one of the episodes I wrote was, like, what about Bob? And, uh, it was, it was, a what like, a, we started out as a what about Bob thing and then became, like, a suspense movie, basically. A parody of a suspense movie. And so it's, it's just funny how that idea of someone who is not listening to someone who's saying, stop, I need space used to be a funny thing and now if you look at it you're like no that's scary yeah that's like somebody that's saying a, no <laughs> yeah um to uh, we, ellen back that's yeah, a good title to ellen back grim word uh yeah. also to point out just want to point out right here ellen clayhorn from snl i think i'm pretty sure that was her no oh, snl heads. is that i'm pretty sure it's ellen clayhorn is it racist if it's not yeah. her? Probably. In this this day and age, probably. No, I don't know. Um, I liked that. I'm giving that two points. And I think chat gave it three points. Um so Ellen Clay Court yeah, was in Coyote her. Ugly. <laughs> it is her. Hey. Uh, she was in Coyote Ugly, too. That's funny. Ellen Clayhorn is the secret theme of the night. Um, okay. So Chad Anyone gave that three points. Ellen Clayhorn gets three points. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll give you that two one? points also. Two points, yeah. Okay, so that is two points. Or that oh, she was also in Pete and Pete? Ellen Clayhorn was in Pete and Pete? I don't Seven see it on here. Goes to Christian Mingle. Nope, two. Uh, Alan Clay, Mr. Ron. Oh yeah, it Voodoo is. Cowboy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Voodoo Cowboy. Did we already do a Voodoo Cowboy. We did. We did Aquamarine. Sorry, guys. And the funny thing is, these people aren't even submitting like next to each other. It's not like we're choosing trailers. We're just they're yeah. all mixed in. So, guys, uh, stop <laughs> gaming the system. Okay, <laughs> we have a really like tight system here, and people <laughs> are gaming it. People are just submitting uh, stuff. All right, I got one more, and you have two more. Yes. All right, so it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Uh, where I just saw a really good one. In 1993 and 1994, Clayhorn made appearances on Nickelodeon children's TV show The Adventures of Pete and Pete, playing a bus driver who serves the love interest no, no, yeah. of Pete's regular. I remember that. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Public has long awaited the final decision of the court of Hawaii, and the courts have voted yes. Homosexuals do have the right to get married. If we ever get into a war and they draft my ass, the first thing I'm going to tell them is if I'm not good enough to get married in this country, then I sure as hell ain't dying for it. Damn it, Arthur! I need to know that I can count on you! That's acting. <laughs> I mean, are you still a homosexual, is what I mean. We have ways to cure that for you. Um, you can just join us for Bible study. How dare you talk to your brother like that! Your brother's a nun. Don't worry. What are you doing here? Remember me? Tammy, I'm gay! I've already told you that! Then? I'll be gay too, and then that'll make it right for us to get married again, huh? No, I do not love you. Now get the fuck out of here! And my heart, my stomach, I mean, my liver, everything. It just fell right out onto the floor. The congregation is concerned that your brother's homosexuality may rub off on their children and send their souls straight to hell. Well, you should probably find a church that knows the true meaning of love and understand it. I'm willing to do anything. I mean, even the final deed. 
you get accepted back into the church. Hi, yeah, I need an ambulance. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, yeah. One, how is this a chick flick? Uh, all right. So here is the, uh, mix a modern broke back mountain, some tragic death and a smidgen of sandering. And you got yourself some weepy females and empty ice cream pints. That's from big row. One. Uh, no, wait. Yes. Big row one. Hmm. I don't know if that tracks for me. What's the sandering part? <laughs> The part with the gay guys? I guess the, I the butt. That's... Like, I, I'm, I'm confused. I have yeah. no idea <clears throat> what that movie's point of view is, is. I mean, like, I know it's saying something about homosexuality. I have, like, I have no idea if that was for or against. Are you with, like, do you? What was it I'm, saying? I understand. I don't know. I don't know if we should even vote on it, though. Like, it seems so far. I know there are other ones where you're like, eh, and then you can find the thread. This does not feel like a chick flick at all. I don't even know the target demographic for this movie. <laughs> uh, should I do a redo? I think you got to do a redo. I, I just think it's so far off. I. I just don't feel <laughs> okay. I'll give a wide like idea of what a, a a chick flick is, right? But I just feel this is not like I don't. I don't yeah, no, I can't go with it. I'm sorry, whoever submitted it. It's so weird. Big Row one. I already said. All right, okay. here I got another one. Sorry, Big Row. Uh, all right, here we go. If that was women, it wouldn't even be a chick flick. <laughs> Long ago, in a faraway kingdom... Do not draw that sword unless you intend to use it, sir. A dashing prince and his lady fair ran into a few problems. A symbol of our eternal love. <laughs> you have cursed my gift! Frozen forever! Until she meets a true love from another land. And that is the legend of Hauptmann Konig's enchanted peasant girl. A thousand years later, Jason Williamson started a new job. Well, lucky you. It seems we have an opening on Mr. Montrose's staff. <laughs> give me two Hollywood. Or give me death. And found the girl of his dreams. 2.5 billion women in the world, and I'm trying to score with a statue. There is definitely something wrong with me. You're welcome. Why are you running? Why am I running? Why are you moving? Why this is where he's trying to bang the, the, the The lights are beautiful. How does it all work? Uh, well, she's got some catching up to do. Oh, yeah, this is Christy Swanson? No calories, no sugar, no caffeine. Oh, we had something like that back home called water. <laughs> the bath. Who's in the bathroom? No questions, please. We do not fall in love with empty things unless, of course, that daddies are rich. And in this case, her daddies are redwood, so I forget about it. Jason, it's not Did Hollywood not enough. know He's about what was going a... on in the other no, many the movie? The I don't know. Yeah. You, the display. are you sure you're supposed to be out in the daylight? Get back. <laughs> I want to see the enchanted peasant girl now. <gasps> Where is she? The enchanted peasant girl's alive. That is impossible. I have to save her, Hollywood. No are they time travelers? <laughs> I thought Cupid aimed for the heart. Hey! I learned this from the Marines. You were in the Marines? Yes. They were looking for a few good men, and so was I. Jason, come on! Mannequin on the move. Look out! Stranger things have happened. Where have you been all my life? Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, stranger things have happened. Oddly enough, this same exact scenario happened in my last job. I was working at a department store doing the, <laughs> the store displays, and that guy fell in love with this Egyptian princess that was blonde and white uh, that looked a lot like Kim Cattrall. 
And this it's just so weird. This is happening in twice in two different jobs. <laughs> two different jobs. <laughs> Two different sets of people. Uh, yeah, she, she, not an, a, a white Egyptian princess. <laughs> this time it was like a, you know, like a different princess, like a, a European princess. You know what I find really funny, too, though, is like we watched another movie, like an 80s garbage movie on Trailer Boys before, and there was a Hollywood character, and I was like, this guy is just ripping off Hollywood for Mannequin, and then someone in chat looked it up, and the guy that wrote and directed, or wrote or directed that movie also did Mannequin. Like, he had just, <laughs> like, reused the character. It was a different actor, but it was, like, more or less the same character, you know? Oh, man, that was funny. <laughs> I barely remember Mannequin. That was a fever dream. Yeah. Hollywood died in 2014. 2014. Aww. RIP Hollywood. Um, is there a Mannequin 3? And is Hollywood in Mannequin 3? I love how when, like, movies, series will, like, start spinning off, like, directed DVD, you know, directed video, like, versions, you know? It's like, keep it, keep the train going. All right, the guy, the guy, the star of that movie is William Ragsdale. He starred in a '90s TV show. It's the titular character of it. What what TV show? Um, um, something about the head, Harry's head, in Harry's head. Herman's head, yeah. Herman's head, fuck you. Yeah. Got it. You got it. But this guy watches TV. Um, <laughs> that was close. Oh, I uh, check out it too. Good job, chat. We're all in there together. He, Let's fucking he, here, chat. This is for you. He was also the main character from another big Trailer Boys movie that we've watched the trailer for multiple times. Uh, Fright Night. That's a good one. Did we watch that one? I like Fright Night. I feel Fright Night was a trailer we watched that no one challenged, and I feel like it could have been challenged. Or maybe I got. I feel like one. we've watched it a couple times. Okay. Um, I forgot to put the poll up. Sorry, guys. I was too into that. Too into the riff. How do you spell mannequin? I feel that's one of those words that I... Man... M-A-N-N-E-Q-I-N-N? I love the right... The squiggly lines that tell me when I spelled something wrong. Okay, I get that you guys can write words too and right click a squiggly line, okay? Okay. No one knows how to spell mannequin. It's unknown. Is that a French word for wooden lady? Mm hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to give that a point. I'm going to give that one point. Mm. I thought that was good. Yeah, I can give that one. I can give that one point too. Uh, and that's, I call that the Hollywood point. Okay. We each have one more. One more. Okay. <clears throat> I feel the funny thing is like we get the the least amount of submissions. I understand we had the shortest runway between Wednesday and today, but this is also like after we started the show, we'll get like a little bit of submissions. This is the most submissions we've gotten after starting a show. Um, that got 72%. That's two points. One point. That's four points. Who gets four points, Sam? Four points go to Prof. Marth Live. Professor Marth Live. One of the uh, mods of uh, the Trailer Boy subreddit. Again, if you're watching this, if you do Discord, we have the Discord. If you're not like a Discord person and do Reddit, do check out the Trailer Boys subreddit, which is different than the Widest Kid subreddit because it's more just talking about movies and bullshit like that. Um, and it looked like Grimward said that uh, they're pulling a list for movies from season two available on YouTube for free, or for free, wink, wink. So appreciate the work that you put into that. Season one has a long list of movies that you can watch on YouTube. Um, Mostly the garbage ones, but that's why we like them. All right. Um, man. Yeah, a bunch of good ones get submitted, like, after the start of the show. It's easier yeah. for me. I would say, too, you know, it, we do go through the movies submitted after the show starts. But before we even start the episode, I'll go through the list real quick and, and mark stuff off. So you have an easier chance of getting stuff watched. Um, 
if you submit before the show starts. All right. Um, all right. I got one more, and you got one more. Too many to choose. There's one I want to watch, but I don't know if it's something we've already watched. I feel it is. Do you have something in mind or no? Oh, wait. Hold I on. do. I do. Uh, Go for it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, wait, let me see. I think I got it in here. All right. I'm Gus Kubitschek. I just met the girl of my dreams. But there's one little problem. Gus is such a nice guy. A terrifically nice guy. But I'm, I'm sort of involved with someone already. <laughs> so my crazy sister decided to turn me into every woman's fantasy. I can make Emily fall in love with you. Uh, what we're gonna need is instant devastation. Let the transformation begin. Names Lobo. Lobo Moronga. What are you doing? Shelly Long. I thought you'd show me the scenic wonders here, Bats. Uh, oh no, I have to get back to work. You seem to be searching for something that's in the eyes. I would suggest a pair of bikini briefs. Are you gay? No, I oh, am not. Great, are you free of disease? I've got an ingrown toenail, but Emily, Don't I am. Don't talk. That's all I wanted to know. I don't like lying to her. Lizzie, I cannot do this anymore. It is over. You are inches away from where you want to be. And I hate that it's Lobo she's crazy about, not the real me. She loves <laughs> beard stubble and had a pair of contact lenses. <laughs> Emily, please, Emily. I've got to tell her the truth. If she finds out for herself, I'm a dead man. But do me a favor. If you see her first, don't tell her it's me. Hemdale Film Corporation presents Steve Gutenberg, Jamie Gertz, Kyle McLaughlin, and Shelley Long as Lizzie. Don't tell her it's me. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you can give it what you want. I want to start this one off. I'm going to start this one off with uh, two points. Uh, the whole device of, of the Steve Gutenberg character, uh, I forget what his name is, talking us through the trailer is so hilarious. I love that. I love that. <laughs> and he's like, I love how he's like sitting like this, but he's looking over here, yeah. you know, like he's not sitting directly straight on. Don't, Don't tell, tell her, her if you see her. Yeah. That, that shit's fucking hilarious. Uh, I forgot to hit start. Back. I hate lying to her. The thing I hate is that she's in love with Lobo Merengue. <laughs> is Lobo supposed it's, to be like Kevin Sorbo? And it seems Renegade? weird that like, all right, yeah, I love the mullet. And it seems weird. It's wait, what's his name? Kubacek or something like that? Yeah, Gary, Gary Kubacek. Gary Kubacek. She knows Gary Kubacek. But once he's Lobo Merengue, she's like, oh, I've never seen this mullet before. Can't look away from that mullet. I don't recognize this as someone I've seen before, or met before. Uh, yeah, that, that, I, I, I dug this. And the whole vibe, the whole music. So smooth, comfortable. Two points. Two points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamie Gertz, I, too, I also like. Um. Uh, here's the, the rundown. Steve Gutenberg stars as a cancer survivor trying to woo the girl next door with the help of his sister by disguising himself as a New Zealand rebel with a mullet named Lobo Moranga. What does him having cancer have to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Right, what's chat say? Uh, chat is into that. They give that an 88%. I think that's the highest yes for the night. <laughs> what uh, do you give it? I give it two points. I just, I, I agree with everything you said on it. And I was like, it's fun, you know? 
and silly. <laughs> All right, that's a seven point trailer. That's great. <clears throat> um, I will say this. I keep going back and forth on it, and I like somebody submitted Heather's, and I mean a lot of people have submitted like Mean Girls and stuff like that, and that's great, and we've seen Mean Girls, and you know I don't know what the trailers like, but I mean we can imagine what the trailer didn't be we? Like. We just watched Heather's though. That's that's what I think because I feel like like there's a lot of movies. No, I don't think Jawbreaker is in here. I don't think anyone submitted Jawbreaker, but um, that. I, I wanted to watch Heather's, but I don't think I'm going to watch it because I feel that's the thing is I forget. No, we just watched it. What was the didn't category we, we watched high, it for? The high school one. Didn't we do uh, high school? I think we should do a part two of high school. Because I remember it, so many it, good it high ends with, I love my gay son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do love that one. All right. So this is what I'm going with. We should do high school too again. We should redo some some season one and two themes. All right, I'm down. What was the best theme from season one or two? You. It's for love, not luck. Mom, because you. We'll talk about that. Angel. Excuse me, mm. are you Sarah Johnson? Your mother's been involved in an automobile accident. <gasps> hey, you dance? I used to. And then my mom died while I was at dance school. I guess it was pretty tough. Leaving all your friends, having to say all those goodbyes. Cool outfit. Slam it. Slam an outfit. Oh. Sarah, how you get your legs to twist like that? I used to dance. You used to dance. It's really not a big deal. I think it is. You should hit steps with us tomorrow night. Steps ain't no square dance. It's all right, I dance in circles, probably around you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Seems like they're letting anybody in. Quit it, Nikki. I am walking on eggshells just because you brought the Brady Bunch to the Negro Club. I'm supposed to be dizzy by now, remember? All those circles you danced around me. Oh, sorry, sorry. What's she doing? Two-stepping? Maybe you want to hook up sometime? Two-steps my shit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> if you want. Uh, uh, make that sound with me. Make that sound. Uh. <laughs> Wait, you sitting down for tea or something like that? Just slouch a little bit, slouch. <laughs> is this movie problematic? problematic? Derek? I don't get you two. I mean, come on. Malachi's scary. You don't have to understand. He's my friend, Sarah. I called Julia for an application. They're holding auditions next month. Then let's get ready, then. Let's see some SCX in those HIPs, all right? <laughs> I used to practice three or four hours a day. Never going to be ready in time. What do you want? Do you want Julia? What I want is to wake up and see my mom again. It was my stupid dream, and all she wanted was for it to come true. And I bet she was still wanted to come true. You can do this. It's how you were born to do it. Now show me some attitude. Wait, what? He goes to her she's ballet thing, and she's hip hop dancing, and they're like, record scratch, like what? Yeah. She's like playing, uh, you know, like Nutcracker Suite and starts dancing no, to cool. that. And she's like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> and she's like, put on some brandy. And they put on some brandy and she and she does her whole audition and they're like, yeah, not for us. We're doing ballet here. <laughs> uh, okay. It. That was a thing. Um... I do love though that like that that was such a thing in the '90s, right? Yeah. And then, like today, that would be like this is a problematic movie, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I think you know, like in the '90s, it was like there is very much that uh, it was 2001 or like '90s, 2001, you know. The 90s was very like like a big phrase in the 90s was was I don't see color. I don't see yeah. color, you know, like that was like that was someone being their their proof that they weren't racist was like I don't see color. And now we know that like I don't see color means that like oh you're not paying attention to the strife that someone's culture had to undergo and the fact that like not everything is equal right now and that we kind of need to work to create equality you know yes. but that's like society in 2020 
you know, around that in, in like yeah, yeah, totally. 2000. Yeah. I was totally like, nobody got that, but it was like everybody, no, nobody was, was really speaking. I mean, I mean, it's probably ignorant of me to say, there's probably people that are like, this is fucked up. And everyone's like, no, it's not racist. It's the opposite of racism. Wow. Chuck I mean, did I, not like that at all. Chuck I think it's that kind of, one point. What's up? Sorry. I mean, it's kind of that, like the the like kind of white savior thing, like like Definitely. oh, this white girl goes goes to like the bad neighborhood and uh, takes what she learns there to succeed in in uh, you know like sophisticated society. Yeah, she like legitimizes yeah. their subculture. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I, it's like, you know, but like, yeah, in today's, today's world, there's that girl who's like, I, you like, you, you, you says the Brady bunch line, you know, yeah. and it's like in today's society, it's like, oh no, she's the one who's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's not the asshole. And, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's pretty funny. I mean, I don't know if chat didn't like it as a, <clears throat> as a trailer, or didn't like, you know, what it looks like in 2022. You know, with Trailer Boys, we are going to watch some things that, like, society was different in those eras. I feel this is a pretty good snapshot of things in, like, the 90s. And I know it's 2001, but, you know, they wrote and made the movie in, in the 90s or whatever. So very, Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, post-90s, you know, that's what 2001 was. Pre, It's, like, pre-9-11, is really like that movie was created pre 9 11. I don't know if it came out before or after 9 11, but like it definitely is the vibe of pre 9 11. Lydia Petunia says there's an entire B story in this movie that addresses the exact thing. Interesting. Watch oh. it. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I, Ryan Scott Atkins, it's up to Sam. Um, so I'm going to give that two points because i thought that was a great snapshot i thought it was a silly trailer you know i'm not going to see the movie but like it's as a trailer i'm like ah, yes it's so uh satisfied and how cheesy it is um what would you give that sam uh i'll give it a point so it that's... caused 9 11 as uncle christian said <laughs> oh okay interesting so that, might, is, that, that might very well be the truth that like something <laughs> like bin laden saw this movie and was like you know what They've gone too far. Uh, four That's points really... to Niamix. Uh, save, don't last, dance, release. Okay. Uh, did you just search? Did save the last dance cause 9 11? January 12th, 2001. So that was, that was out pre 9 11, guys. So, I mean, like it very well could have sped up the process. You should have submitted yeah. the Manny Moore cancer movie. Yeah. The Manny Moore cancer movie. No one submitted the Ansel Egger cancer movie. Kids with cancer. What was it like? Uh, falling through the clouds or something. All these names, all the titles of these are very similar, which I think is funny. I think it's like uh, fault in our stars. No fault in our stars. Isn't there something about the sky? Uh, all, right. all right. Uh, let's do, let's do the vote. Mm. Uh, uh, you, you want uh trailer of the week tra trailer of the week. Don't tell her it's me. Uh, that was Hendo submitted that one. Uh, Mr. Wrong mm -hmm. submitted by voodoo cowboy. Uh, the unexpected race submitted by Flanja. And then we have one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, uh, that was three of those, right? So then the other ones are Cutting Edge. Aquamarine and Untamed Heart. Which should we knock out of that? Aquamarine? It's possible we've watched Cutting Edge before. Okay, well then let's let's not cut. But I don't edge know. Out. I loved Cutting Edge, 
but it's possible because I love that movie. I don't know if we watched it during the sports one. I think those um, those were all all three of those were good. I, I'd be down with missing any of them. What should we get rid of? I, Untamed Heart. I don't know. I don't think that really like um, pranked anyone's right. gears so. though. Unda- un- all right, Untamed Heart. We should host this in a hot tub. Well, get tell tell your friends. Make this the most popular thing ever, and maybe we will. <clears throat> Okay, the poll is up live. If you can't see it, just uh, reload your thing. It's up for three minutes. So if you're watching from, you know, a TV or an app, you can pull it up. You have time to pull it up on your phone. If you're doing homework or something or a project and you're only listening, you have time to stop what you're doing and pull it up and vote it's in the chat. Um, <clears throat> while we're doing that, um. Sam, what do you when you think of Trailer Boys and what we've done? Are there any episodes that stand out from like season one or two that you were like that was fun and that was silly, and we had a good time? Uh, okay, I'm I explained Unexpected on what... Race. The first one was about the romance, you know, and the the other ones we watched were more like action movies. Uh. What was what were some of those early early ones? Um, I don't even remember what the Grandpa Shoes episode theme was. Was that of of sports one? Some people, if if you don't think Unexpected Race is on theme, don't vote for it, and and tell people not to vote for it. Voting isn't coming up for you, Grimward? Even if you reload? Hmm. Sorry, I can't stop it now. We're already halfway through. Um, Was that Christian movies? I don't think we did a Christian movie theme specifically, did we? No, I I don't think we did a Christian movie theme. Maybe we did a God theme. What was the one that we watched that one where the devil... Oh, we did the devil. That was fun. Devil was on trial. I do have fun um, making like the the um just the frames. Oh wait, I, I know how to, I know how to look at this. Pull uh, up the YouTube page. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I was also we also have uh, Robo Geisha was was a the I think there was a robot theme. That was super early. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we could do robots again. That's a fun theme. Uh. Theodore Rex was the winner one one time. We go back to all right. The uh, hottie and the naughty was a winner. Surf Ninjas was a those winner. Those were like or, before we even started saving the episodes for VODs, though, dude. I don't even right. remember what those themes were. Robo uh, Holocaust was that like a, a post apocalyptic one? So, uh, Titanic: The Legend Goes On. What was that one? I don't even remember some of these themes. That might have been before we did themes. We did vampires. Uh, holiday movies was fun, but we won't do that again and for another holiday thing. Uh, movies of the World Blows Up was funny. Movies Where Things Come Alive. That was a super fun episode. That was a weird. fun thing. Um, wow, The Unexpected Race won. You see, and it was close. It was Don't Tell Her It's Me came in second place with 14. I guess 14 wow. and 22 is not, not crazy cool. Oh, Animal was a good one. The animal theme. Yeah. I feel like every time uh, I think the theme is going to be bad, it's it's more fun. What about this for a theme? Someone someone mentioned this when we were talking about the the winner. Low budget movies. Okay. So it doesn't it doesn't have to be bad movies. It can just be a low budget movie. This could be like a good movie that had a low budget. There are good Cook. movies that, like Clerks. Yeah, people want a definition. They want to know what low budget is, like under ten million dollars, under a million dollars. Like, how much did Clerks cost? There's also a movie that came out. What's a what's a low budget movie that would come out now? Like, if you did your movie in live action, how much it would cost? Mm, probably 
five million, I think. Maybe we we'd probably have to like change the the script around a little. Uh, Night of the Living Dead. That's a low budget movie. Adjusted for inflation. Yeah. Primer. <laughs> Pie. The Blair Witch Project. Napoleon Dynamite. These are all low budget movies. Duel. Okay. Okay. So it's a loose interpretation. Not loose, yeah, but I mean, a, like, there's no. Yeah, there's no, like, like dollar amount. But, like, I think, you know, like. Yeah, Grimward said, suggestion for future theme offcuts, exploring previously submitted trailers that weren't played on the show. We have done that before, but I feel um, it may have been an odd episode because it was just, like, random things. And then some people were like, well, it sucks as this is a trailer that could have been better in another category. Or something so i don't know if they wanted us to burn some of these you know um under a million is low though under a million is low guys like how much yeah. do you, how much do you think um again like if if the whitest kids did their mars movie live action not animated it would cost five million dollars how much do you think uh napoleon dynamite costs because that's low budget all right here, here's uh, i'm looking at this list uh uh talking about like low budget movies uh 15 best low budget movies of all time and how much they they actually cost uh little miss sunshines they, they're considering a low budget movie eight million dollars so i i would think that's on the high end i might you know be like okay uh the blair witch project six hundred thousand dollars uh Super Size me that's a documentary i'm not really going to count documentaries don't do it reservoir dogs 1.2 million that's a low budget movie. And that was like 90s, early 90s. Yeah. Monty Python and the Holy Grail, $400,000. That's a low budget movie. Uh, Primer, $7,000. That's a low budget movie. Eraserhead, ten to $100,000. So you have no real idea. Uh, Lost in Translation, $4 million. Okay, nice. We're end. not watching documentary trailers. This is supposed uh, to be a fun show. Most documentary trailers are bummers. City of God, 3.3 million. Yeah, I'd consider, you know, like once we're getting into that 3 million zone, Mad Max, 200,000, that's definitely low budget. Whiplash, 3.3, it's low budget. Rocky Horror Picture Show, 1.2, I think that's definitely low budget. Uh, Get Out, 5 million, we're getting up there. We still that's do the have the end. season tournament to do, we do. Um, Sam uh, just moved. He's been really busy. So Rocky, gonna... one million. We're, right. uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wait till you're here, right? I think so. All right, cool. So it'll be it'll be in June. We haven't really set up a date for it yet, but um, I'll talk to Sam. We can try and figure that out when when he has some time, because uh, the schedule is very busy. So if there's a if there's a Sunday in June that you're not um, doing uh, sketch directing. Um, yes. Yes, Mythic. Uh, what happens is every if you submitted it a couple weeks ago, it's going to be in that category's pool of submissions. So if you want to submit it again, submit it again. Um, so is that what we're doing? Uh, low budget movies. Yeah, let's do low budget movies. Okay. Low budget movies is the next category, everyone. No, 20, I mean, like, here's the thing, 25 million and below, I don't think is a great definition. I think, you know, like, like I, you know, like Little Miss Sunshine and like Moonlight and, uh, uh, or maybe not Moonlight, but Little Miss Sunshine and Get Out and, um, uh, what, what was the other one? Um. Lost in Translation are all kind of pushing it, you know? Moonlight was only $1.5 million. Oh, it says here Moonlight was $4 million. Oh. Call Me By Your Name had a budget of $3.5 million. So, yeah, like, like the, those are kind of pushing it, you know? Like, let's say under $3 million. 
I think that's a good line. Under three million. So in this list of here's the ones that are are not included in under three million. Little Miss Sunshine not included. Blair Witch included. Super Size Me not included because it's a documentary. Reservoir Dogs included. Monty Python's Holy Grail included. Primer included. Eraserhead included. Lost in Translation not included. City of God not included. Sure. Mad Max included. Whiplash not included. Sure. Bitcom, I'm Horror, with I'm with Bitcom on included. this. But just just to pause on this, is that like I want something that looks low budget. You know, like it doesn't yeah. have to be like dad's grandpa's shoes, like total shit. But I want something that like, like when you watch Clerks, it looks low budget. Like I'm not, I don't want something that like looks fucking amazing, you know, and you're like, oh, but it was done in like the 60s. So technically, you know, like um, I want something that looks a bit shitty, you know, I want something that you watch it and, and you, you're like, this is a low budget movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Evil Dead. Evil Dead was definitely low budget. The first Evil Dead was a fucking college movie. You know, Evil Dead Two. You know that I would say that's low budget. Um, what if it's an old movie? Do we care about inflation? Like Rocky? Did you include that or not include that? Because I feel like Rocky doesn't look like a low budget movie. I mean, I guess I mean like like. Let's see. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre was produced on a budget of sixty thousand dollars. That looks like uh, a low budget movie, though, when you watch it. You know. Yeah. Uh, but then, All right, so I'm putting this up on the site now for the submissions. Um, give me some examples, like good examples of something that looks low budget. Uh, yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Eraserhead, um, El Mariachi. But you know what doesn't look low budget? What's that? Desperado. Yeah, true. Even though it probably still was. It's seven million. Yeah, what about people adjusting for inflation? That's what I'm saying, like oh, yeah. it should look low budget. If it's old, bottle rocket, I think, was is a good one, looks low budget. Yeah, yeah. That was that's Bottle Rocket's one of my favorite movies. Bottle Rocket's great. Uh, Good word. Yeah, I it, see you keep saying first time directors, but once Sam is locked into something, you know, he's hard to. Here's here's what I'll say is like I mean I just I don't think we need to like worry about inflation. All right, I don't think when we're like looking at inflation, I think we're getting too into it. Uh, the the amazing bulk is cheap uh yeah okay not, we're we're low budget movies checking under three this. million but really it should look like a low budget movie examples texas chainsaw massacre el mariachi grimp's new shoes it should feel low budget yeah great dark star yeah that's a good low budget Inflation okay. isn't real. Yeah, you're right. It's not real. We're just, you know, we have more money than our poor relatives. Our poor, Nothing poor from fathers. a major studio. It could be. No. Yeah. Because some studios distribute, you know, they don't produce, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like sometimes people independently make something and a studio buys it. And distributes it. Uh, all right, I got a, I got a raid. We got a raid. I gotta get out of here. We got a raid. Did we do buddy comedies? I don't know. It sounds familiar, but I don't think we have done. But we've done team ups. Team em ups. Everybody, look at the moon. 
Is it a uh, super blood moon? It's a flower uh, moon, right? It's a super flower moon. Any stream soon? I've been trying. I've been um, traveling a lot, so I have not really had time. I, I was planning on doing a, a special podcast this weekend, but it didn't happen. Uh, and uh, you'll see it pop up. Uh, super flower blood moon. Fuck yeah. Um, check that out. You need some new tunes? Yeah, we'll stream soon. I'm going to try and stream this week, I think. All right, guys. Have fun. Um, bye. Can the next uh, theme be video game adaptations? Fuck, Buckerson, we've already done it. We've already done game movies. That was fun. I mean, but... Yeah, Deja, we, yeah. we, how... how I feel like we've we've exhausted it though, right? I don't know. I mean, we should go back and, and and take a look at some of these, and maybe we'll do a part two. Some of the part twos are good. The sequels part two is pretty fun. We could do something that's like oh, part sequels three was really good. Yeah. What the fuck? We trying to raid. Right, there we go. Hey, right. Carl DeLinden. Tell tell Carl we said hey. Thanks, he guys, calls for coming you out. guys the Wakukians. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Hey, dude. Yeah. Um. I do want to bring up, um, just catch everyone up on what happened. Last week, we had our, uh, what was the theme? Cool, crazy cool guns, and mom was guest hosting. Sam wasn't feeling well, so we ended it early. We picked back up on Wednesday, did a half episode, so we had a shorter week. Um, so we chose like a, a, a wider range, uh, like a, a wider genre, a, a wider theme to make it easier for people to submit things. And I would say this is the least submitted week. So if you're at home and you're like, oh, I have a good idea. Uh, if you're like, I have a good idea for uh, um, a movie that's a chick flick movie, you can still submit it. We'll still look at submissions after the show starts. I'm going to drop a pretty good pun here. This is the broadest theme. That's good. I like that. I like that. Um, broad, broad. President Siegel says, I knew there wasn't going to be many submissions. There are some good ones, though. I, I, I have to admit, there are some really good submissions. Um, I also wanted to def wanted your help in defining what a chip chick flick was because it's 2022, and I feel like chick flick could be seen as like a dated term, right? Oh, we lost him. <laughs> Sam preparing for the money shot. <laughs> Are you like the classic like uh, uh, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan kind of thing? Or is that Nora Ephron? I don't think anyone submitted a Nora Ephron movie. Wait, sorry, what? Nora Ephron. Yeah, I think I have to. Hey, can I, can you say say something? Hello. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, for some reason, it, I Nora think it was still Ephron. connected to my car. What? Why? What do you mean it was connected to your car? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, my couch. I meant. <laughs> Abby Sally says they submitted the same trailer twice. Does it count as a separate submission? Can I send another? Yeah, you can. You can submit another. It's not like yeah, some people submit like thirty submissions. And I'm not like counting. Like oh, only your first three count. But that's like if somebody submits like some people will submit like ten submissions every week, and it just makes me like. Not, not one, and that's you know, sometimes we do run into like we're choosing, and, and this is what happened was we would like choose the same per you know, one person would get like five trailers in a night, we'd be like, oh shit, and it was just somebody was just being greedy, so it's more of a courtesy thing, it's not like a hard rule. Um, 
Chick Flakes Saguma says, I think they're just supposed to make you feel sensual. What do you think the quintessential chick flick is for like an example of a chick flick? I mean, I think the quintessential, like the ultimate, you know what I would Sleepless say? Sleepless in Seattle? No, I would actually say Sleepless in Seattle is a little too nuanced. I would go a little more plain than that and go, you've got mail. Uh, I, I get them confused. I feel like they're the same movie. Are those I mean, Nora Ephron movies? Sleepless in Seattle was like the original, right? I think so. Of that, like, I guess it's not the original Tom Hanks Meg Ryan pairing. Um, that would be Joe versus the volcano. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Which I think is an awful movie. I'll lose a guy in 10 days. I, here's my thing. I will, I will be, I, I will be honest with chat. Rom-coms are one of my favorite genres of movie. Rom-coms. I love rom-coms. But what's the difference between a rom-com and a chick flick? I don't know. Is, is there? Are, I mean, I know not all chick flicks are rom-coms. Like Titanic, I guess. Yes, that would be a chick flick. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, I think... 2020, the, the age we're in right now is all about definitions of things. So I feel um, it could be interesting to hear what Sam defines as a chick flick or chat, you know, what you guys define as a chick flick as well. Um. Movies that appeal to women. Does that sound simple enough? I mean, I always think of like, when I think of the chick flick genre, I think of uh, romantic comedy. But what about That's Titanic? me personally. I would. I, I don't know if I would call that a chick flick. Really? I would say Titanic is a chick flick. What so would you notebook? say. That's not funny, right? I've never seen it because I'm oh, a dude. I but. guess. Well, like a <laughs> chick flick, I guess, then would you say a chick flick is any movie that would be considered a romance, comedy, or drama? Yeah, so I guess would it be romance movies? Is a romance movie? Is that just is that it? Because like romantic comedies, I mean, is pejorative a good thing? I don't know what pejorative means. Is bridesmaids a chick flick? Yeah, I'd say bridesmaids is a chick flick. That's not really a romantic comedy. That's a comedy though, right? No. Yeah, that's more of just comedy. Would Fast Times count because a woman made it and it's a teen rom-com? Is it a rom-com? I don't think it's really a rom-com. A lot of people, it seems like they're saying geared towards women. Like like the, the prime demographic would be women. But Parker okay. says, right, all rom-coms are chick flicks, but not all chick flicks are rom-coms. Did you see okay. um, that new one with Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson? Marry oh, me. uh, marry, marry me. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. <laughs> I, 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 I liked the trailer better than I liked the movie to TV, TBA. I, I mean, you, you pretty much got most of it there, you know, except like the very ending. Uh, what did you think of crazy rich Asians? Uh, pretty good. I loved it. Crazy rich Asians <laughs> was my favorite movie of that year. Uh, why are you so bluish? Is that me or is that you? Probably me. Hold on, let me. Sorry, I'm just. You saw Jennifer Lopez and you said nope. Oh, you missed out. More for me. <laughs> you, you truly never know what Nate is going to love. I like garbage. Wedding Crashers was big because it was marketed towards guys too. Yeah, it also had a lot of boobs in it. Crazy Rich Asians is fantastic. I heard they're making a sequel. Um, Hereditary was the same year. I hated Hereditary. <laughs> it. I'm not a scary movie guy. Everyone knows that. But I also like did watch that, and it like. I mean, the ending got like a little silly, but like the rest of it, it like stuck with me. I was like thinking about that movie for weeks later. 
Alex Mobe says, basically anything that is viewed through an outdated standard female lens, uh, sorry, chat scrolled and I missed it. Uh, whether or not the main character is female doesn't matter because it's about an altered viewpoint wherein if the lead is male, he's having a realization slash experience of what the female experience is. That's a good take. That's a good take. Um, what would be examples of that? Where, where the male lead is seeing what the female experience is. Submit these things. Anything we're talking about that makes you think of a movie, submit it. The male lead is, the, uh, so are you saying like, um, there's that Mel Gibson one, uh, what, women, what want. women want. Yeah. That was submitted a bunch by the way. So if you thought I want women once, don't submit that Uh guy incognito. I don't know if you submitted that to Wong Fu, but it was submitted and we will be watching it because I remember that movie vaguely, but I think it counts. Heath Ledger, 10 things ahead about you. Good, good. I like this discussion, Mr. Slipman's. Thank you, what Alma said, interpreting it literally and processing that and giving us an example of Heath Ledger in 10 things ahead about you. I don't know. That is a, um, it's, it's a, it's a retelling of Taming of the Shrew, right? So. Yeah. Sam rules and says, side note, everything everywhere all at once was really good. Just go back from the theater. You know what? I haven't heard that about that movie. Most, most people say the movie's <laughs> awful, right? <laughs> yeah. Everything I've heard is that, uh, that movie that everyone is like, oh man, that movie is, is so bad. Uh, I can't believe, uh, Mike Myers is making another thing and, <laughs> this is it's just so annoying and he does so many annoying characters in it and it's it's just beyond stupid right that that was no one liked it everything everywhere <laughs> all at once right yeah um that, yeah yeah right yeah it's, it's, mike myers plays okay. like a bunch of different characters yeah um all right. Um, well, I feel that we made some progress here and we have talked about uh, chick flicks. Um, one chick flick I did not see in the list. Um, anything with. All right. I feel we've watched these things because you know I like garbage, but that Ansel Egghort movie where he's like sick. Uh, all those like. Oh, yeah. He got in trouble, didn't he? Yeah, and and he's still, I mean, he got, like, lightly canceled. Like, he got canceled in the press, but he's still, like, you know, doing movies like crazy, so. You know. Yeah, you everyone's like, come Obi-Wan on. Trailer? No, that's a TV he's... show. Um, Is that, that show's not out yet, the Obi-Wan show? I don't know. I'm not, like, a Spock, you know, guy, so. Uh, Spock Star Trek, right? Oh, 